District 4 tournament. Murray High's head coach Tom Faust, 40 and 73 in his fifth season as the head coach of the Lady Tigers. And this week's Region 1 Cantrell computer rating from the Lexington Herald Leader newspaper. Bracken County is still on top in Region 1 at 81.6. As number 10, Zip, Marshall on the 16 winning streak. Their Cantrell rating is up to an even 70, followed by Graves County at 64.5. Callaway County at number 4 at 63.9. Carlisle County has moved into the fifth spot in this week's Cantrell computer ratings for Region 1 at 51.4. Mayfield just behind at 51.3. Then Fulton County, Ballard Memorial, Paducah Tillman, and Christian Fellowship rounding out the top 10. Murray High coming in at number 11 in the can crawl this week with a can crawl rating of 33.7. That's a look at the snap fitness of Benton and Calvert City game notes. More of the Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement Free Game Show on the way. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. Raymond James is one of the first investment firms to offer a client bill of rights because we believe that you have the right to full disclosure regarding the cost and risk of your investments. You also have a right to recommendations that are consistent with the objective of enhancing your financial well-being. For a complimentary copy of your client bill of rights, call local financial advisors Rich Hendrickson, Casey Griffith, Kayla Barrett, or Travis Thompson at 906-2139. Raymond James Financial Services, Inc., member of FINRA SIPC. Life will plan. When you have legal questions about estate planning and elder law, Talk to an expert, Joe Kimmel, at the Kimmel Law Firm in Paducah. Kimmel Law has helped hundreds of clients throughout this area with legal services in Medicaid, veterans' benefits, wills and trusts, asset protection, probate, and will administration. Joe Kimmel at the Kimmel Law Firm, an expert in senior law. Call 270-408-8484. Offices at 1249 Broadway in Paducah. Or visit KimmelLegal.com. This is an advertisement. Four Seasons Restaurant in Harvard. An over 50-year tradition, down-home cooking, reasonable prices, and people that treat you like family. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Anytime is a great time to visit Four Seasons Restaurant. Daily plate lunch specials, fish dinners, sandwiches, homemade desserts, and on Sundays, Four Seasons has their famous chicken and dressing. Randall and Tanya Scott and everyone at Four Seasons Restaurant appreciate your business and friendship. Four Seasons Restaurant at the four-way in Hart. It's where friends meet to eat. Real estate professional Monty Collins with Houseman Partners Real Estate is proud to be a sponsor of Marshall County Athletics. When you have questions about the local real estate market, Monty Collins with Houseman Partners Real Estate has answers, and he would appreciate the honor of working for you. Monty Collins offers best wishes to all Marshall County students and teachers for a great school year, and good luck to all of our Marshall County teams. Bonnie Collins with Houseman Partners Real Estate, 270-703-20. Murray High to our right, Lady Marshalls to our left, going through their pregame drills and warm-ups as we get ready. Uh, uh, get, <coughs> let me start over three. Murray High to our right, the Lady Marshals to our left, going through their pregame drills and warm-ups as we get ready for a top-of-the-hour tip-off, first game of this District 4 double-hitter tonight here at Marshall County's Reed Cutter Gymnasium. We'll take a look at the Mediacom Channel 8 starting lineups for this girls' contest on the other side of the break. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. Starting lineups is always a service of Mediacom Channel 8, the channel about you and your community. You can catch uh, professionally produced local programming every day from 1 to 11 p.m. on Mediacom Channel 8, including a tape delay telecast of tonight's District 4 doubleheader between Marshall County and Murray High. The Murray High Lady Tigers, a record of 5-11 and 11 under fifth-year head coach Tom Faust. Their guards will be Reese Downey, 5'7 senior, averaging 7 points, 4 rebounds a game. Makira Bomar to guard, 5'2 senior, 6 points, 5 rebounds a game. And Mayla Smith, a 5'3 8th grader at guard, 7 points and 6 rebounds a game. Addison Neal, one of the front court players for Murray. She is a 5'8 freshman, 2 points, 5 rebounds a game. And Miley Smith in the front court, 6 foot senior, 9 points, 6 rebounds a game. Lady Marshall, 16 and 5 under fourth year head coach Aaron Beth. And riding a 6 game winning streak coming in to action this evening. 
three seniors will be among the starting five tonight for the Lady Marshals. At guard, it will be Amelia Boone, 5'7 senior, averaging 1.2 rebounds a game. Along with Izzy Washburn at the guard, 5'5 senior, averaging 1.2 rebounds a game. And Chevelle Henson at forward, 5'10 senior, 9 points, 5 rebounds a game. Also starting this evening for the Lady Marshals, Ryland Darnell at the guard, 5'6 freshman, 3 points, 2 rebounds a game, a, a career high. Again, just a freshman, a career high 11 points in the victory at Greenwood this past Saturday. And also starting will be Skylar Waller, 5'6 junior, the leading scorer for the Lady Marshals at 15 points, second on the team in rebounding uh, averages per game at five boards a contest. Again, the starting lineups brought to you by Mediacom Channel 8. We've got tip-off next to the Lady Marshals and the Murray High Lady Tigers and powered by DC Electric. This is going to be CBO Sports. Yeah, check back with me. How, how much time? Back and a pound it for date night, movie night. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just check with me. Yeah. Because we're going to be running off. Taco pizza much. loaded with seven layers of fresh taco toppings for your very second slice or third or fourth. Try new taco pizza for a limited time at Taco John's. Amazing power, amazing speed, one ultra cool price. Take your tech to the next level with extreme internet powered by Mediacom. Get our Prime Internet 100 package with whole home Wi-Fi for $34.99 a month for two years. Hook up your house with 100 meg speed. Turn up the intensity in every room with powerful whole home Wi-Fi. And stay chill with 99.99% network reliability. This deal is fire. Call now to get the extreme Prime Internet package for $34.99 a month for two years. Call 844 faster or shop online at extreme.com. Hurry, this ultra cool offer won't stay around forever. Offer available to new customers only. Advertised price includes a $10 a month credit for auto pay and paperless billing. Activation, installation, modem rental, taxes and fees are extra. Network reliability based on the 2023 Mediacom Executive Summary Reliability Report. Prime Internet 100 is subject to a downstream monthly usage allowance and certain speed reductions. Call Mediacom or go online for full details. County Hospital. Aaron, have a good day of practice yesterday? We did. We went light. You know, we had a really good game on Saturday. It took Sunday off. We had a freshman, our last freshman JV game last night. So um, we just had the varsity players at practice went about an hour. But it, it was good. Did a lot of dummy offense, did some scout on them, and did our shell drill. We're doing shell drill every day still to make sure that we're doing what we need to on that. And we're looking forward to, you know, a big district game tonight. Your team uh, has been on quite a roll here lately. Uh, I feel like maybe playing uh, your best basketball of the season. Yeah, and that's that's what we want to do. You know, down the stretch here, we've got two more weeks of regular season, and, and then it's tournament time, so now's the time. You know, we've waited all year to really kind of come together and gel, and I think I agree with you. I feel like we have played our best basketball the last two or three games. Those two fourth region teams we played in Allen County and uh, – Greenwood the last two games have been, you know, very good opponents, and we needed those games and needed to be able to win those games. So, you know, looking forward tonight uh, to coming out putting a lot of pressure on Murray. I feel like our pressure will bother him a bit down there. Big night tonight with it being senior night. We get the three seniors to get the start, and, you know, hopefully we can uh, send them off on a positive note here. It would be natural for folks to look ahead to Friday night's game at Callaway County, the big rematch uh, of that game. Uh, but I know you want to stay sharp. Uh, you talk about playing uh, perhaps your best basketball of the season. Uh, and you want to just be sharp. You're going to come out here as a big favorite tonight. Murray's playing better. Uh, but uh, you, you just want to remain um, uh, crisp on what you've been doing, so to speak, right? On both ends of the floor. And that, that's the thing that we I felt like we've gotten better at the last couple of weeks is our offensive end. You know, defense has been on and off all year. We haven't done a great job, but we've done a pretty solid job for only going, you know, 16 games. But uh, we've got to be able to do it on both ends of the floor in every possession. We can't take possessions off. We can't be sloppy. We can't be lazy on defense. We, we can't take bad shots on offense. We've got to get the ball to the people that can score. And when shots go in, it, it looks like it did Saturday. And now Saturday was fun because we made 11 threes. I think we were 11 for 26. And two previous games combined, we were 11 for 58. So when you miss 30 more shots, you know, it makes 
look a lot sloppier. So hopefully you come out tonight. I think the crowd's going to be good. You know, atmosphere should be good. Uh, we, we need to come away with the win. We kind of control our own destiny at this point for the um, regular season district title. So we need to get, you know, take care of business tonight. I'm not even mentioning Callaway to our team, uh, not once. That's, you know, it's, it's something we'll work on tomorrow. we got to take care of business tonight and get this win. Aaron, thanks. Good luck here today. Thanks, Jeff. Lady Marshall's head coach Aaron Beth. Again, his pregame comments brought to you by Marshall County Hospital, powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. Hey, Holly. Isn't it nice to know that when someone says they'll stay in the phrase has real meaning at Raymond James because we believe in keeping clients informed about their portfolios, even in the times. Clients place their trust in us because we believe that meaningful communication, stability, and client satisfaction matter. To learn more, Call local financial advisors Rich Hendrickson, Casey Griffith, Kayla Barrett, or Travis Thompson at 270-906-2139. Raymond James Financial Services, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. Life well planned. Take the sea of orange with you wherever you go with Marshalls and Lady Marshalls apparel from the Sweet Tea Company. From tees to polos, hoodies, hats, and socks, the Sweet Tea Company has your look as you show off your Marshall County pride. The Sweet Tea Company also offers your team or business embroidery, screen print, promotional items banners, and so much more. Visit the Sweet Tea Company on Facebook and Instagram or at 38 Raceway Lane near the intersection of highways 68 and 95 just west of Bradfordville. Locally owned and crafted with love. The Sweet Tea Company. You're tired of always having to bum a ride? Then you need to go to Heartland Motors. Aren't you tired of not having your own truck? Then you need to go to Heartland Motors. Are you tired of cramped family vacations? Then you need to go to Heartland Motors. That's right. No matter what your credit, we'll work within your budget. Browse our inventory online at heartlandmotorsky.com. For all your vehicle needs, come to Heartland Motors. And let our dad help you find a car, truck, or SUV. Guaranteed at Heartland Motors. The Marshall County Cooperative Extension Office is at your service. Proud to serve the citizens of Marshall County with a dedicated staff and the resources of the University of Kentucky. Call or stop by the Marshall County Cooperative Extension Office at 1933 Mayfield Highway in Benton. Telephone 270-527-3285. And best wishes to all Marshall County students for a successful school year from everyone at the Marshall County Cooperative Extension Office. Starting lineups is always a service of Mediacom Channel 8. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, just how long is Channel 8? And including a... I would do this, play this, and Murray High. Play this, the Murray third Murray Tigers, the record of 5 Mr. Gilmore, 11, how are you, sir? Okay. TJ, third guard, it would be Reese Downey, 5'7", senior, averaging 7 points, 4 rebounds a game. Bakira Bomar to guard, 5'2", senior, 6 points, 5 rebounds a game. And Mayla Smith, a 5'3", 8th grader at guard, 7 points and 6 rebounds a game. Addison Neal, one of the front court players for Murray. She is a 5'8", freshman, 2 points, 5 rebounds a game. And Miley Smith in the front court, 6 foot senior, 9 points, 6 rebounds a game. Whitey Marshall, six, uh, yeah, it's a 6 game winning streak coming in to action this evening. The three seniors will be among the starting five tonight for the Lady Marshals. At guard, it will be Amelia Boone, 5'7", senior, averaging 1.2 rebounds a game. Along with Izzy Washburn at the guard, 5'5", five, five, senior, averaging 1.2 rebounds a game. And Chevelle Henson at forward, 5'10", senior, 9 points, 5 rebounds a game. Also starting this evening for the Lady Marshals, Rylan Darnell at the guard, 5'6", freshman, 3 points, 2 rebounds a game, a, a career high. Again, just a freshman, a career high, 11 points in the victory at Greenwood this past Saturday. And also starting will be Skylar Waller, 5'6", junior, the leading scorer for the Lady Marshals at 15 points, second on the team in rebounding uh, averages per game at five boards a contest. Again, the starting lineups brought to you by Mediacom and Channel 8. We've got tip-off next to the Lady Marshals and the Murray High Lady Tigers and powered by DC Electric. This is the WCBL Sports. Recently, I traveled through a small town whose sign said, Welcome, if you live here, you'd be home now. That reminded me of just how much our small town community means to us. It's where our roots run deep and we're always welcome and treated like family. At Raymond James, we want you to feel at home whenever you come to see us. You'll always be greeted by friendly faces who've called Western Kentucky their home for their entire lives. Come experience the Raymond James difference by calling us at 270-906-2139. 
Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member of FINRA, SIPC, Lifewell. Hello, this is Jeremy Short, pastor at Twin Lakes Worship Center. Before we have tonight's prayer, I'd like to invite you to join us. Our service times are at 10 a.m. on Sundays, 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We have great programs for all ages. You're all welcome to join us at Twin Lakes Worship Center as we worship together and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today to ask you to bless this event, Lord, to keep your hand upon it, that there be no injuries, and Lord, that it would be done in a way that's pleasing to you and sportsmanship, and Lord, that we as fans and parents and grandparents could just enjoy these activities. We watch your kids, and Lord, we ask that you would just get glory from it and grant us traveling mercies as we leave. We ask it in Jesus' name. Become a champion at Champion Home Builders. Apply at championhomes.com to start your new career. WCBL Bent, WCBL Grand River, Bent, Murray, Mayfield, Princeton, and Duke. Tonight's team attire is brought to you by the Sweet Tea Company. They can supply your team's uniforms, business or sports, screen, uh, screen printing, or custom embroidery. They will have your team looking sharp. Call them at 270-387-0170. Or go to the Sweet Tea Company KY.com. And remember, always a great selection of Marshall County fan gear and apparel at the Sweet Tea Company. Lady Marshall's wearing the home whites with orange numbers and letters trimmed in royal blue. And Murray Hyde wearing the black uniforms with Lady Tigers and white strips trimmed in gold across the front of the jerseys. The numerals are the same. The game ball delivered by Thompson Plumbing, voted as Marshall County and Western Kentucky's favorite plumbing service. Thompson's delivers a licensed plumber on every job. Call 270-527-3299 for Thompson Plumbing. And tip-off will be brought to you by Raymond James Financial Advisor, Kayla Barrett. Inflation and other economic factors can often keep you from getting the best results from your investments. So you should call Kayla Barrett and she'll help you find ways to stay ahead of inflation save money on your taxes, and prepare for a comfortable retirement. Visit her at Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement, 105 West 5th and Benton, or call 270-906-2130. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Don Gilmore, our head official tonight. Also in the crew of officials tonight, T.J. Hargrove and Odie Cole. Nice bunch of gentlemen and a veteran officiating crew. It'll be Chevelle Henson in the center circle for the Lady Marshals, and she tips it up into the air. Grabbed by Chevelle Henson. Nobody came to get it, so Chevelle just picked up the ball. Lady Marshalls go to work offensively. Waller has it in the corner for a three that's good. Dallar Waller with a corner three right side. FNB Bank three. Lady Marshalls set up in their full court press. That court is taken by Miley Smith. On the far side, over by the sideline, Downey. Back to Smith. Still haven't. Uh, across the time stripe. Now she does, but it's taken away by Waller. Tried to float it up ahead here to Darnold. Knocked back away by Murray High, and they've got it back. Right side, this is Mayla Smith. Ground it comes to Downey. Downey left of the circle, trying to feed the high post. Knocked away, Marshall County's got it. Waller digs it out, up ahead to Darnold. One to beat, lays it up, no good. Chevelle Henson had the rebound for a moment, then knocked away and went off of her foot, out of bounds. 7.08 to go, first quarter. Lady Marshall's with the early lead at 3 to nothing. 2-2-1, three-quarter court press coming here. And the back court to Beaumont. Up ahead, near sideline here to Downing. Crossover dribble, trying to get across the line. She does. Dribbles all the way down to the free-throw line. Waits there and kicks it out for a deep three that is good here. Off the left side by Miley Smith. Miley Smith ties the game at three. Buddy Marshall's working against some pressure in the back court themselves. Knocked away by Beaumont. But Waller has it to Washburn. Nice look underneath here to Henson, who puts it in on a bank shot. Washburn found Henson behind the defense there. Backcourt pressure again here by the Lady Marshals. Bomar across the line. But it comes now to Downing. Downing angles off to the left side. Bounce to the high post now to Miley Smith. Holds it above her head. Now has to use a dribble. Right of the circle to Downing. Lady Marshals. Uh, Look to be in a 2-3 zone here. Downey spins into the top of the circle with a dribble. Lost the handle for a moment. Out of Bomar in the corner near side. Betty Marshall's run a double team of her and a Marshall County foul. This one's going against uh, Ryland Darnold. First foul of the ball game. And 
it'll be Murray High basketball to put in play for the baseline on their offensive end. Lady Marshall's leading it by the three. Not quite two minutes into this one. Near steal by Darnell. She does take it away on the inbounds pass. Saved it inbounds right here in front of us. And it's picked up by Izzy Washburn. Washburn throws it all the way down for Henson. Deep in the post. Turns to her right. Puts the shot up. Got it. Henson makes it a four-point Marshall County lead. Seven to three. Bomar across the line, having trouble with it. A double team runs at her, gets it away here to Mayla Smith, deep in the corner, and a timeout for Murray High. Coach Tom Faust sensing that uh, that the possession was not meant to last <laughs> in that sequence. Lady Marshalls had Smith deep in the corner in a double team, really nowhere for her to go. So a timeout for Murray High. We will take one, two, with Lady Marshalls leading by four, first quarter of action, powered by DC Electric. This is going to be City Hill Sports. Just like your fingerprint, your heartbeat is unique to you. And that's how your heart care should be too. So at Baptist Health, we focus on your specific cardiac needs, from preventive care to some of the most advanced procedures. For your one-of-a-kind heart, choose the one hospital system more people trust for their heart care. Baptist Health. It's care centered on you. Visit baptisthealth.com slash heart care. Inside the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center, 534 to play first quarter. Lady Marshall's leading it 7-3. Miley Smith put it in play for Murray High right here in front of us. Comes into Downing. Lady Marshall stayed with a 2-3 zone. Miley Smith takes it right side. Pass here to uh, top right is knocked out of bounds right here in front of the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. J. Harder, one of the officials, making the catch crashed into us here. Murray High puts it back in play. High post. It's taken here by Neal. Turns and faces the bucket. Nowhere to go with it. Drive into the lane now by Miley Smith. Taken away by Darnold. Ryland Darnold just came in, stripped it away from her. Throws it up ahead across the time strike to Waller. Down low to Henson. Henson fouled as she goes up. Well, Henson headed to the line. And the foul is against Miley Smith. Murray High's first foul of the evening. And at the line for the Lady Marshals, shooting a pair will be Chevelle Henson, 53% on the season. One of the three seniors on this Marshall County team will be honored between games tonight. Senior night festivities here at Reed County Gymnasium. First free throw good by Henson. Chevelle looking for her sixth point of the early going, but this one is too long off the back iron. Boone had the rebound, but it stripped away from her. And Murray High grabs it and runs it the other way. Eight to three, Marshall County will lead as we go under five minutes to play in the first quarter. Buddy Marshall's matched up uh, man to man on this trip. Driving the lane here by Downey. Picks up her dribble. Can't uh, go inside, but it leaves it here for Miley Smith. Back out uh, between the circles now to Bomar. Back to Miley Smith. She dribbles to the top of the key. Left side to uh, Mayla Smith. Now Downey tried to come underneath, knocked away by Henson, and she runs down the loose ball. Buddy Marshalls will run it the other way. Waller looking up the floor, throws the top of the circle here to Boone. Out to Washburn, cross court pass to Darnell. Out to Waller, now to Boone, top of the key. Boone angles off to the left side, taken away here by Downey. Downey runs it the other way, throws it up ahead to Bomar. Should be an easy one, it is. Eight to five, Marshall County's lead at three. Four minutes to go first quarter. Hillary Washer, State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Pass across the line to Washburn here for the Lady Marshals. Now to Boone, to Waller, left of the circle. Darnell, left wing three, off the mark. And a long rebound to Washburn. Out to Waller, top of the circle three, got it. Skyler Waller with her second. FNB Bank three of the evening. Had seven in the win at Greenwood on Saturday. Back the other way, Mayla Smith. Deep out of the corner, no good on the three-point try. Lady Marshalls with a rebound. Waller throws it up ahead to Darnell. Streaking here is Henson who lays it up and in. Lady Marshalls leading it now by eight. And a steal here by Boone. And it's picked up here by Darnell as Boone saved it in bounds. Darnell gets it back from Waller. Spots for a three. Got it. Ryland Darnell. 
with an FNB Bank three for the Lady Marshals. She hit three of them on Saturday in the win at Greenwood. And that's enough for another timeout here for Murray High. Lady Marshals out to an 11 point lead and powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. Older days of winter are here. And with that in mind, you'll want to make sure your heating system is up to the task. Call c and Heating Cooling, your Lakes Area Group Dealer, and they'll make sure your home or business is ready for old man I'm sorry, make Also, be sure to ask c and C about credit terms, making installing a new efficient root system easy on the budget, subject to credit approval. Call c and Heating and Cooling for all your service and installation needs. 270-527-7237. Your room pro partner in the Lakes Area. And remember, you can rely on Rudy. You've got Spirit, and now you can too. All you have to do is make a purchase with your Marshall County Spirit debit card. And FNB will donate money to Marshall County Schools. It's that easy. Hi, I'm Trent Lovett. Get the Marshall County Spirit debit card today, exclusively at FNB. Call us at 270-387-3062. Visit growwithfnb.com or stop by and pay. Come on. FNB Bank. Member FDIC. Spirit debit card is available with eligible FNB checking accounts. For each signature-based transaction not using the pin, FNB will donate 10 cents to the schools. Donation may be subject to contracted quarterly maximums. This Marshall County broadcast brought to you in part by Power Sports of America, featuring Polaris, Can-Am, Kawasaki, Honda, and CF Moto. 3051 Old Husbands Road, exit 11 off of I-24 in Paducah, online at powersportsofamerica.com. Ride today with POA. And the Lady Marshals bringing the backcourt pressure again. Another steal. Schroeder has it. Down to uh, Waller, who lays it up and in. Schroeder checked in uh, along with Kinsley Terry there at the uh, timeout. And Annie Wall is also in the ball game. Lady Marshals bringing some pressure again underneath. Shot put up no good. This one by Reagan Ballard, who checked in for Murray High at the timeout. Ballard is a 5-3-8 uh, grader. Averages 1.2 rebounds a game. Marshall's almost had another steal on the far side of the floor. Lost it out of bounds. Murray to put it in play. Lady Marshall leading at 18-5. to 225 to play first quarter. Downey down the left side of the lane. Stops. Wanted to lean in with a shot. Wall jumps in her way. Tried to feed it down low here to Bomar. Tapped away from behind by Schroeder. On the floor right now for the Lady Marshalls, Terry, Darnell, Waller, Wall, and Schroeder. That was their starting lineup with Vincent out uh, with the injury on Saturday in the win at Greenwood and an interception on the inbounds pass as Lakin Schroeder takes it away to Terry, to Darnold, underneath the wall, started left, goes right, now to Schroeder, kick out to Waller, now to Terry, right of the circle three, yes. Hensley Terry with her first FNB Bank three of the night, and it's a 16-point Marshall County lead. 21-5. Marshall County had a deflection here by Ryland Darnell out of bounds on the near side, uh, about midway down in front of the Marshall County bench. Lady Marshall's 21, Murray High 5, inside of two minutes to play first quarter. Inbounds pass comes in out top here to Downey, out of Bomar. Bomar trying to get down the right side of the lane and draws a foul. Waller got it. Bomar will be at the free throw line. against Skyler, team foul number two against the Lady Marshals, and Akira Bomar will be at the free throw line for Murray High. 39% on the season is Bomar, a right-handed shooter, and the first one that hits high off the iron and then settles through the net. First free throw attempts the ball game for Murray. Stops a run of 13 unanswered by Marshall County. Second free throw is no good off to the right. It's picked up here by Marshall County's Andy Wall. Outlet pass to the backcourt to Terry. And they want to get a, a half-court trap going. Does Murray High. Terry throws it across the line here to Waller. Circles left to Darnell. And a cross-court pass to Terry. 21-footer is rolling. No good. And the rebound belongs to Murray. Miley Smith up ahead to Downey. Up to uh, Ballard in the corner for a three. That's no good tapped underneath by Schroeder, picked up by Downey. She uh, goes to the deck and gets it. Able to get it out to Bomar for a three-point drive that's off the mark, and the Lady Marshals have the rebound here. A minute to go first quarter. Marshall County 21, Murray High 6. Waller feeds it inside here to Schroeder. Coming across the lane is Terry. Can't get the shot to go. Wall has the rebound, and her shot is blocked. And Murray High grabs the rebound here. Up the near side is Downey. Cuts into the lane. Back to the basket now. Out it comes to Smith. This is Miley Smith for a three-point try that's no good. 
check that. Uh, that was, yeah, that was Miley. Miley Smith with a three-point try. Lady Marshalls with the rebound of the Mets. Kinsley Terry. Now it comes to Waller in the corner. To Schroeder. Schroeder is fouled as she makes a move down the left side of the lane. Foul here against Bowman. That will be her first. And team foul number two against Murray. Lincoln Schroeder. 45% from the Taco John's free throw line on the season. A couple of opportunities coming here for the junior for the Lady Marshall. The first one is good. Lady Marshall has matched their biggest lead now at 16. And the free throw attempt here is rolling off for Blake and Schroeder. Rebound belongs to Miley Smith for Murray High. They may uh, hold for the final shot of the first quarter. Buddy Marshall's bringing a half-court trap. And a deflection out top. Waller trying to track it down. She does. Saves it inbounds to Darnell. Darnell feeds it here to Schroeder. Schroeder right side to Terry. Down to six seconds. Back to Schroeder. Now to Darnell. Left side three. No good. And that'll do things for the uh, first quarter. Well, I say that. There's a half a second left as the ball tracks out of bounds. I will put it in play, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. Comes into Downey. That's it for the opening stanza. Lenny Marshall is leading 22 to 6 as we head to the second quarter. That action, when we return to the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center, powered by DC Electric, this is going to be Signal Sports. Check, check, check. they have done for uh, much of this six game winning streak the Lady Marshalls out to a very good start to the ball game leading 22 to 6 as we head to the second quarter tonight's broadcast brought to you in part by Jeff Smith and his team of realtors at Remax Real Estate Associates Benton and Murray Lady Marshalls will have Terry Washburn Henson Waller and Boone to start the second quarter Murray High will counter with Downey Miley Smith, Mayla Smith, Ballard, and Bomar. The Marshals are looking like they're going to set up in a 2-3 zone. Let's see what they're, it's like it's straight up man-to-man -man now. Off to the right side, Downey cuts all the way into the lane, trying to lean in, can't get loose for a shot. Back out it comes to Miley Smith for a three that's good. Miley Smith with her second three of the ball game. A little backcourt pressure here for Murray High. Letty Marshalls. Have it across the timeline. Washburn, cross-court pass to Waller. Open look for three out of the corner is good. Skyler Waller, three of three from behind the arc here in the first half. Lady Marshalls match the uh, three-pointer with one on their offensive end. Push their lead back to 16, 25 to 9. Second quarter of action. Lady Marshalls matched up man-to-man, uh, -man, it looks like, here on this trip down the floor for Murray. Bomar drives it right side of the lane, puts up a bank shot, no good. Trickles out behind uh, the uh, free throw line area, and the Lady Marshals pick it up there. Waller runs it the other way. Angles off to the left side to Washburn. 16-footer left side. No good. Kicks high off the iron, and the rebound is taken here by Miley Smith for Murray High. 6.45 to play first half. Lady Marshals 25, Murray High 9. This is uh, Mayla Smith with the ball, top left side to Bomar between the circles. Feeds the high post, driving it in as Ballard cut off. Back out it comes to Downey for a three that's no good off the back of the iron. And Amelia Boone grabs a long rebound. Lady Marshalls push it the other way. Waller to Boone, top of the circle. Boone with one bounce, sees an opening, takes it toward the rim, lays it up no good. Henson follows it up no good. And loose underneath and picked up here by Murray. Lady Marshalls missed a couple of uh, chances really in close there. 
25 to 9, the lead for the Lady Marshals. Nearing the six minute mark of the first half. Between the circles for Murray High, Downey feeds the high post to Baller. Kick out to the left side to Mela Smith. Diagonal pass to Miley Smith. And it comes to Mela again. Mela drives the left baseline, pulls up there, shoots it, no good. And it's loose underneath. Finally picked up here by Marshall County's Chevelle Henson. Boone, an outlet pass up the near side to Waller. Schroeder and Darnell will check back in for the Lady Marshals at the next whistle. Henson lost it for a moment underneath, but collects it and puts it up at end. Chevelle now with nine. And the Marshall County lead is 18. Chevelle's field goal percentage uh, this week, 59%, number 17 in the state. She keeps uh, cashing in those shots uh, in close. That'll only go up. Near steal here by Boone on Murray High's offensive end. 5-12 to play first half as that uh, pass is batted out of bounds. Addison Neal returns here for Murray High as Bomar will be out. Darnell and Schroeder back in here for the Lady Marshals. Boone and Henson to get breathers. Dowdy with the ball out top right side here for Murray to Miley Smith. Back to Downey. Fumbled it a bit, but picks it up. Now Terry knocks it away. Downey grabs it again. Back out to Miley Smith. End of the logo now to Ballard. Lady Marshall's really forcing Murray to play well away from the bucket here. Around it comes to Downey. Tried to drop it off down low, and it is knocked out of bounds here by Darnell. 4.48 to go first half. Marshall County 27, Murray High 9. First uh, game of a doubleheader. Boys game will be our second game tonight. Downey has uh, trouble with it out top, and she's called for double dribbling. Lady Marshals have Schroeder, Terry, Waller, Darnell, and Washburn right now, so really this is a four-guard lineup for Marshall County. 27-9, Lady Marshals with the lead. Murray High has done some trapping in the half court. Right now they're straight up man-to-man. -man. Washburn drops it off down low here for Darnell. Darnell could not gather it in. Knocked away. Picked up uh, off here, though, by Washburn, who puts it up and in. Izzy Washburn read that uh, pass after the uh, steal and was able to step in front, pick it off, and put it in off the uh, window. Marshall County now by 20, 29 to 9. And a steal here by Washburn. Could be back-to-back -back buckets. Rolls the other way. Puts it in and a foul. Izzy Washburn will be at the line to try to complete a three-point play. Washburn will be at the line. The officials, I think, are discussing, I, I believe, whether this is going to be an intentional foul or a regular foul. Uh, they're calling the foul against Mela Smith. First on Smith, first foul of this quarter against Murray. All right, so Washburn gets the bucket. She'll be at the line to try to complete the three-point play on the season. Is he two of four from the Taco John's free throw line? Washburn is ready. Let's it go, and it's no good. Rebound taken by Murray High. Lady Marshall's leading it by 22 now, 31 to nine. Four minutes to play first half. Bomar clears the time stripe with a right-handed dribble to Miley Smith, back to Bomar. Bomar drives the baseline underneath. Mela Smith got wide open and puts it up and in. Marshall County's lead at 20. Lady Marshall's bring it to their offensive end. Darnell feeds it down low here to Wall. It was deflected. Wall was able to grab it, goes for the shot. No good, but a foul called against Addison Neal. and Neal picking up her first second team foul of this quarter against Murray. Addie Wall shooting 41% from the free throw line on the season. The Lady Marshals as a team, 61%. First one here is no good. All shot looks fine. It's good form. It's you know, good high release. Good follow through. It's just a matter, I think, of gaining some confidence. Second one is no good. And the rebound taken by Murray High. We are under four minutes to play in the first half. Lady Marshall is leading by 20. Here's a three-point try by Miley Smith in and out. And a scramble for the rebound. Touched by a couple of Marshall County players. Nobody could grab it. Picked up in the lane by Mela Smith. Her jump shot no good. 
Marshall County with a rebound. Here they come the other way. No look pass. Washburn to Darnell for a three. That's good. Ryland Darnell with an FNB Bank three for the Lady Marshals on a great no look pass by Izzy Washburn. Back the other way. Mayla Smith with a 12 footer off the left side is good. Three minutes to go, first half. Marshall County leads by 21, 34 to 13. 34 13 is the lead for the, uh, the Lady Marshals. Biggest lead has been 23. Led 22 to 6 at the end of one. Lady Marshals have uh, already made six three point shots in this one. And a steal by Darnold. Darnold comes in, intercepts a pass, and Murray High's offensive court to Washburn. Down to Schroeder. Diagonal pass out to Darnold. Down it comes here left side to Washburn. Trying to go in the back door to Terry. Good uh, catch by Terry. Reverse layup. Good. Terry had to go to the other side of the rim and bank it high off the window. That matches Marshall County's biggest lead now at 13. 36 to 13. 218 to play first half and a timeout for Murray High. Lady Marshall's by 23, 217 to play first half. Powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds. If you're a business owner that struggles to close your books each month, let Donahue and Associates at 816 Poplar and Benton be your solution. Their team of accountants can navigate the numbers so you can focus on what you do best, growing your business. The payroll and bookkeeping, the tax planning and financial strategy, they have your small business accounting needs covered at Donahue and Associates. Very high with the ball. They've used uh, three timeouts here in the first half. Bomar tries to take it down in the post, lost the handle on it after it was deflected by Kinsley Terry and the Lady Marshals are going to get the ball back as Bomar can run it down along the baseline. 2.02 to play first half. Marshall County by 23. Schroeder in front court to Washburn looking low for Wall. Good post up down on the left block and she draws a foul. Nope, they're going to call her for traveling. Baseline official was going to call the uh, foul. The uh, sideline official, the uh, near sideline official Came in and overruled him and said, uh, no, it's a trap. 150 to play first half. Murray High with the ball back. Out of the left baseline. This is uh, Mayla Smith. Drips out behind the arc. Down low to Downey near the left block, and she's fouled here. This Marshall County foul will go against Addie Wall. First on Wall. First team foul of this quarter against Marshall County. Senior night festivities coming up between ball games. A lot of other things uh, going on here tonight. The little dribblers are here. Got some other presentations that will happen throughout the course of the evening. Plenty of room for you. Got a good crowd on hand already, but plenty of seats available here at spacious and beautiful Reed Condor Gymnasium. Come out and join us. Foul out top here is Downey. Tried to drive it into the top of the circle, and this Marshall County foul will be against Washburn. First on Washburn, team foul number two against the Lady Marshals. 126 to play first half, 36 to 13 is the lead for Marshall County. Murray High to play it in for the baseline on their offensive end. Got to be getting close to five. Now they finally lob it in and it's taken out near the timeline here by Mayla Smith. Between the circles to Bomar. Lady Marshals come to pressure her. Now Downey gets it underneath, feeds it across the lane to Neal. Her shot blocked, but she gets it back, puts it up, no good. Tipped out, Marshall County's got it. Wall with an outlet pass to Darnell. Now to Terry. Kinsley Terry will slow things down and come across the time stripe with a right-handed dribble. Schroeder to Washburn, left of the circle. Back out to intended for Darnell. Intercepted here by Downey. Downey runs it the other way. Takes it into the lane. Shot uh, no good. Good defense there by Darnell to contest it. And Darnell rips off the rebound. Terry down to Wall. And Wall is fouled along the baseline. This one will go against... Miley Smith, that'll be her second. 
And team foul number three of the second quarter against Murray. Lady Marshalls will play it out from the baseline on their scoring end of the floor. Washburn will get those honors. Still looking. Bounces it in here deep in the corner on that side to Terry. Terry drives, shoots a 12-footer off the baseline. No good. But headed to the free throw line after being fouled by Makira Bomar. Second on her. So Bomar now with two and Miley Smith with two. For Murray High, 42 seconds to go first half. Our Hillary Washer State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Go to HillaryWasher.com or go to her offices on 5th Avenue in Calvert City. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. First free throw by Terry is too strong off the back of the iron. Kinsley on the season at 67% from the line. Missed uh, this one the same way. Too strong, but the rebound belongs to Wall. Her uh, putback is partially blocked, and the rebound taken here by Murray with 35 seconds to go first half. Dowdy in the front court. Miley Smith, straightaway three is well off the mark. Lady Marshalls grab the rebound. Darnell comes off running up the far side. Checks her speed in front court. Gets it away to Terry. Terry runs around to the uh, right baseline. Knocked away out there. Loose ball. Terry runs it down. Terry bounces it inside here for Schroeder, and Schroeder is fouled as she goes up for a shot. This foul will go against Addison Neal. Second on Neal. Team foul number five against Murray. Schroeder was in the act uh, already, so two shots would have been coming anyway. And the first free throw here is good for Schroeder. Now two of three from the free throw line here in the first half is Lakin Schroeder. Schroeder ready. For her second free throw, airborne. Perfect. Lady Marshall set up in the uh, full court press, leading by 25. And into the lane, here goes Downey. Downey slides by everybody, lays it up, no good. Neal with the rebound, and she is tied up. And the arrow will give it to the Lady Marshalls with 3.8 seconds to go here in the first half. They have to come the length of the floor. Comes into Terry. Throws it up ahead here to Darnell. Darnell to Washburn. Fires it up from 35 feet. No good. And that'll do things for the first half. Lady Marshall's leading at 38 to 13 here at the break. Our halftime report will be manufactured beautifully by Champion Homes of Benton. Stay tuned for Focus on MCHS. Brought to you by the Marshall County Board of Education and produced by the students in the media arts class at Marshall County High School. Also the Lake Kim halftime summary. And the first half numbers presented by Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. Let's go uh, two minutes, two minutes, focus six, focus six, one minute.
do focus on MCHS. Focus on MCHS because that will be the key to the key to who and what is making these blues. Seven trading cards. Uh, seven. Uh, we had a good RP for that day, and at the end, uh, someone said it was somebody's birthday, and we had to work with that person. And seven. Uh, we just kind of looked at him doing all that. He goes, Hey, it's my birthday. Uh, I mean, it's your birthday, seven. He said, Yeah. So we all came to seven. We all came to seven. I started thinking, Oh, well, I just know I'm not going to play seven birthdays. I looked on it. Lady Marshall's leading here at the break, 38 to 13 over Murray High in this District 4 game. Lady Marshall's looking to move to 5 and 0 in District 4 play as they uh, hope to take another step toward the regular season District 4 championship. 
in the Marshall County Halftime Report, manufactured beautifully by Champion Homes of Benton. Become a champion and apply for your new career at championhomes.com. Lady Marshalls, again, got out to a very good start. That's been one of the uh, the common themes over the course of the last couple of weeks, uh, last few ball games for the Lady Marshalls, getting out to a quick start. They led 22-6 to six at the end of one, and this one lead by 25 here at halftime, 38-13. to 13. And our halftime summary presented by Lake Kim Community Federal Credit Union. It's like banking only better. Visit one of the Lake Kim offices in Murray, Draffinville, or Calvert City and discover the Lake Kim difference, member NCUA. First half scoring numbers presented by Raymond James, Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement. Strength emerges from solid risk management. And Raymond James has the stability to stick with the principled investment discipline established when they were founded. And their long-term perspective on investing hasn't changed over the years. Maintaining a steady course and challenging markets, not always easy but achievable when you're standing on solid business principles. If you're looking for a well-constructed financial plan for you and your family, call advisors Rich Hendrickson, Casey Griffith, Travis Thompson, and Kayla Barrett at Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement, 105 West 5th and Benton, 270-906-2139. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, LifeWell Plan, member FINRA and SIPC. Lady Marshall's led 22-6 at the end of the first. Lead by 25 here at halftime. It is their biggest lead of the contest thus far. Buddy Marshall's had six different players score in the first half. Led by Skylar Waller's 11-9 for Chevelle Henson. Six points for Ryland Darnell on a pair of three-point shots. Five for Kinsley Terry. Four points for Izzy Washburn. Three points for Lake Schroeder. Murray High was led by Miley Smith. Six points for her. Four points for Mayla Smith. Three points for Makira Bomar. Lady Marshall's 38, Murray High 13 here at the break. First half uh, numbers presented by Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement. And the Marshall County Halftime Report has been manufactured beautifully by Champion Homes of Benton. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. If uh, they're both 30s, we can get a minute. You're gonna to have to holler at me. I can't. I can't hear anything in here tonight. So, okay. Yeah, we'll. we'll yeah, we'll do our best. I'm gonna wring Chris's neck, but uh, yeah, all of his spots are over 30. So. Thirty-eight to thirteen, Lady Marshalls with a twenty-five point lead as we get the third quarter going. Third quarter uh, Murray ball to get things started. Lady Marshalls in that two-three zone. Pass into the post intended for Neal. Apparently deflected out of bounds. Didn't look like it from here, but the official says a Marshall County finger touched it. And so Murray High will retain possession. Lady Marshalls come with the same five that started the game. The three seniors, Izzy Washburn, Amelia Boone, and Chevelle Henson along with Skylar Waller and Ryland Darnell. Bomar has it left of the circle, drives it into the lane, turns with a little jump shot that's good. Tough shot there by Bomar on the turnaround in the lane there for Murray High. Just underway, third quarter. Lady Marshall's leading it 38 to 15, their first possession of the third. Boom, top of the key, drives it to inside the arc to a Waller, out to Washburn inside to Henson. Henson against a double team, has it stripped away and taken away. And Murray High comes up with it. Here come the Lady Tigers through the uh, midcourt circle. And a pass to the high post deflected out of there by Henson, but tracked down here by Miley Smith. Murray High will reset. Left side, Bomar. Drops it off down low, intended for Neal. Tapped out of there. Washburn runs to get it for Marshall County. Washburn turns and heads down the other way, left to right. Darnold, cross-court pass to Waller. It was deflected. Waller's got it. Now out to Boone for a three. Good. Amelia Boone with an FNB Bank three for the Lady Marshals, and their lead is now 
26. Get your Marshall County Spirit debit card exclusively at FNB Bank and support Marshall County Schools. Member FDIC. Go to growwithfnb.com. Murray High with the ball. Lady Marshalls running at a 2 3 zone, really pressuring a Murray High. Trying to get them into some tramping positions and a pass to the post again. Knocked away by Darnold, taken away by Darnold. She'll bring it into front court up the middle of the floor to Waller. And a lead pass underneath to the right block here to Henson. Henson draws a double team. Tried to muscle up a shot, and it was partially blocked. And Murray High comes out of there with it. Lady Tigers to their offensive end. Marshall County by 26, two minutes into the third quarter. Bomar checks off the left side, spins her way into the lane, and trying to go up for a shot that is no good, but she draws a foul. Two shots coming for Bomar. This one will go against Marshall County's Amelia Boone. First against Boone. First of the quarter against the Lady Marshals. And Bomar will be at the line. And she will shoot two. Bomar one of two from the strike so far tonight. First one here is short. 39% on the season. Foul shooting is uh, Makira Bomar, senior for Murray High. One of three seniors on this roster. Second free throw good by Bomar. She now has six points tied for team high honors with Miley Smith. Ballard will return. Bomar will be out here for Merton. Nope, it's not going to be Bomar. Uh, it's going to be Addison Neal. All right. So Neal is going to be the one that sits down here and gets a breather. Lady Marshall's 41, Murray High 16. Murray High, it looks like they're going to go with a 1-3-1 uh, trapping zone. Waller across the line, out to Washburn. Circles right. No look pass out here to uh, Darnell, to Boone. Boone holds it above her head, slides off to the left side, leaves it for Darnell. Darnell has picked up her dribble to Boone. Boone drives the baseline, drops it off down here for Henson. Her shot is short. Henson trying to run it down. It's going to go out of bounds off of her hand. Schroeder, Terry, Sandlin, English, and Wall will all check in here for the Lady Marshals. For English and Sandlin, it'll be their first action of the night. Eden Sandlin, a 5'3 sophomore, averaging six points, two rebounds a game. Harley English, a 5'4 sophomore, four points, one rebound a game. Murray High will bring it to their offensive end. Downey. Left of the circle here to Bomar. Gets a step down to the baseline. Lady Marshall's recover. Cut her off on a drive. Back out it comes now to Downey. Steps just inside the top of the key. Feeds it right side to Miley Smith. Back to Downey. Downey has it tapped away. It's loose on the floor. Picked up. Uh, Downey runs and gets it. 5.02 to play in the third. Now Downey with a step back three after she had stuck her forearm out and knocked Kinsley Terry backwards. Downey. Makes the uh, third three-pointer of the night for Murray. And here's a steal by Bomar. Bomar will run it the other way for Murray. She has picked up her dribble in front court. Lady Marshall's lead at 22. Left side, here's a drive by Mayla Smith. Knocked away on her way into the lane. Able to gather it in. Back out to Bomar for a three that rims out. Marshall County has the rebound. Schroeder running it the other way here for the Lady Marshalls. Waits for Terry in front court. Sets her a screen. Terry takes it down into the corner off the screen. Cut off there. Out to English, top of the key. Swings it to the left side to Sandlin. 4.18 to play third quarter. English inside the wall. Makes her move to the left side. Puts it in with the left hand. Eddie Wall with that uh, nice move. Kind of uh, drop stepping uh, to her right. Putting it in with the, uh, the left hand. And a three-point try by Bomar is no good here for Murray. Picked up, though, by Downey. Back out it comes. Ballard's going to launch a three that's off the mark. Marshall County grabs the rebound here. Schroeder with an outlet pass to Harley English up the far side. Now Ingles toward the middle. Stops between the circles in front court. Murray High matched up man to man. Terry to Sandlin. Top of the key. Looks at a three. It's off to the left. No good. English comes in and gets the rebound. Goes back to the bucket. Puts it up. No good. And got her own rebound. Now to Schroeder in the lane. Schroeder takes it. Lays it up. It is good and a foul. Lincoln Schroeder will be at the line to try to complete a three-point play. This foul for Murray is against Ballard. That'll be her first, first uh, team foul against Murray. Schroeder at the line where she is three of four so far today. 
Trying to complete a three-point play here, and she does. Megan Schroeder making that uh, needle move a bit on her free throw percentage, up to four or five on the night from the Taco John's line. And she gives the Lady Marshals their biggest advantage of the night now at 27 points, 46 to 19. Nearing the three-minute mark of the third quarter. Right side, Miley Smith has her three-point drive blocked. And Marshall County grabs the rebound. Across the line, here is Terry to Schroeder. Top left side to English. Down on the left block here to Wall. Turns to the left hand again. No good on this one. And the rebound belongs to Murray. We have the three-minute mark of the third quarter. Hillary Washer, State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Lady Marshall's 46, Murray High 19. Steal by Schroeder. Should be an easy one the other way. She lays it up and in. Lady Marshall's now by 29, 48 to 19. Reese Downey angles off to the right side in front court here for Murray. Back out into the logo for Mela Smith. Around it comes to the left wing. Ballard had it. Now to Bomar. Spins. Cut off in the lane. Now she lifts up a shot that's going to roll in and a foul. Bomar with a couple of tough shots in the lane here in the third quarter. Wall has picked up a foul here and will have Bomar at the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. Buddy Marshalls get uh, Lauren Knowles along with Riley Teague. And uh, Reed, the eighth grader, into the ballgame now for Marshall County. Jessica Reed. Well, they're really excited about this eighth grader. J.C. Wells also into the ballgame. She shoots a three off the left side. No good. Knowles with a rebound. No good on the follow, but a foul. Buddy Marshalls leading it by 27, 48 to 21. And the foul here for Murray is against Reese Downey. First on Downey. Second in this quarter against Murray. Lauren Knowles is 3 of 4 from the free throw line of this season for the Lady Marshals. 5 7 sophomore, averages one point, two rebounds a game. A right handed shooter puts the first one up and leaves it short. Lady Marshall's by 27. Biggest lead has been 29. Still a boys game to come. Here later this evening, second free throw by Knowles is good. Two oh five to play third quarter as Murray High runs it to their offensive end. Three-point try, Miley Smith, right side, good. Deep off the right side, about three feet behind the line. Marshall County's lead cut to 24. Jessica Reed across the line to Knowles. Left side to Teague. Teague leaves it here for Wells. Top of the circle. Wells slides off to the right. Out to Reed. Angles left. Reed working off a screen. Right side to Wells. Steps inside the arc. Back out to Teague. 135 to go in the third. Jessica Reed comes to get it. Standing in the logo. Puts down a right-handed dribble. Left side to Wells. Wells puts down a dribble. Out a wall, back to Wells, tapped away. Wells runs it down just over to the backcourt, heads back across the line, still on the dribble out top, and waits for Reed to come around and get it. Reed drives it left side behind the back on the dribble. Now it comes to Wells, 110 to play in the third. Lady Marshall's by 25 and with the ball. Reed drives it right side of the lane, out to Teague, around to Wells. Wells goes to the left baseline, left-handed shot, good for J.C. Wells. Ninth different Marshall County player to score in the ballgame. And a, a deflection by Wells into the hands of Knowles on the offensive end here for Murray High. Lady Marshall's come up with the steal. Up ahead, Wells has it. Wells thought about a three. Uh, changed her mind for a moment. Goes ahead and fires it up. No good. Then Reed and Mayla Smith tie up for it on the uh, rebound. And the uh, arrow will leave it here with the Lady Marshall's on their offensive end. Riley Teague looks to put it in play. Comes in to Reed. She'll fire three right side. No good. Long rebound, though, to Wall. Wall is tied up as she goes up, and this time the arrow goes to Murray. 30.7 seconds to play in the third. Lady Marshall's 51. Murray High, 24. Murray High with the ball. Lady Marshall's in the home whites. Murray High in black uniforms. White numbers and letters. Mayla Smith with it left side. 
Floats a pass over here to Miley Smith. Lady Marshall's matched up man-to-man -man defensively. Drive here by Bomar, cut off, uh, retreats back out. Now to Miley Smith for a three that's a rounded out. And the rebound here, loose on the deck with six seconds to go in the third. And another tie-up. And this time the arrow to the Lady Marshals. Teague, Waller, Reed, Knowles, and Wall here for the Lady Marshals. Comes into Wells. Now to Reed. Four seconds. Reed checks the clock. Dribbles down to the right side. Fires up a three. No good. And the Lady Marshals will take a 27-point lead to the fourth quarter. That action we return to the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBO Sports. Grab an ID if you want to. Final eight minutes up on the board as we welcome you back to the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center courtside here at Coach Howard Beth Court, Reed Condor Gymnasium, Marshall County High School with the Lady Marshals in command in this District 4 girls game, leading by 27 over Murray High. Murray High ball to begin the uh, final frame. It's Boone, Washburn, Darnell, Henson, and Waller for the Lady Marshals to open up the uh, fourth quarter. Their uh, original five as the uh, three seniors have all scored here tonight and have all played extensive minutes here tonight. Makira Bomar off to the right side, drives it down to the baseline. Back out it comes now to Mayla Smith for a three-point try that's no good. Chevelle Henson grabs the rebound for the Lady Marshals. Allet pass to Boone. Boone clears the time strike, leaves it here for Waller in the logo. Lady Marshals will go to work with their first offensive uh, possession of the uh, final frame. Waller started right, now goes left. Over to Washburn, to Henson, left of the circle. Back around it comes to Waller. She wants a three left side. And this one is rolling in. Hit the uh, side of the iron. If I had enough of it to go ahead and roll on over and in. And Skylar Waller, I believe she's 4-4 four four from behind the arc tonight. Made seven threes in the win on Saturday over at uh, Greenwood in Bowling Green. Drive here by Downey. Feeds it across the lane on a nice pass to Bomar who puts it up and in. That was a really nice pass by Downey to Bomar after uh, Downey had drawn the two defenders to her, left Bomar wide open on the opposite side of the lane. Lady Marshalls to their offensive end, leading by 28. Henson hands it off here to Waller. Waller is fouled here by Bomar. Bomar picking up her third. And the first foul of the fourth quarter against either side. 6.29 to play in the ball game. Hillary Washer State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Lady Marshall's 54, Murray 26. Man-to-man -man defense here by Murray. Waller started left, now angles right. Over to Darnell, runs off the screen. Back to Waller. Back to Darnell, top of the circle three, no good. And loose in the lane, picked up here by Murray. Miley Smith able to come in and corral the rebound for Murray High. Drive down the left side by Downey, cut off by Darnell. Back out to Miley Smith. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Miley Smith underneath now to Bomar. Bomar against Henson. Puts up a tough shot. No good. The rebound belongs to the Lady Marshals. Henson clears it out here to Waller up the near side. Waller to Henson on the run. Henson kick into the corner of Darnell. Out to Waller. Three right of the circle. In and out. And the rebound taken here by Marshall County's Izzy Washburn along with Mayla Smith. And they're going to call a foul against Chevelle Henson. Apparently before the uh, the rebound was even possessed. They may have gotten Chevelle on a push underneath. First on Chevelle Henson. All right, so Henson, Washburn, and Boone are out to a nice round of applause. The 
three Lady Marshall seniors as Schroeder, Wall, and Terry all return to the uh, Marshall County lineup. 5.33 to play in this one. Lady Marshall's leading by 28. Steal here by Terry. Taps it away and runs it down, rolls the other way and puts it in. Sixth and seventh points of the contest here for Kinsley Terry. Murray High brings it to their offensive end. Bomar got open underneath for a moment. Now she is fouled by Wall on her shot attempt. Bomar will be at the line. Foul against Wall is her third. Don't forget, still got a boys game to come here tonight as the uh, Marshals will take on the Murray Tigers, hoping to avenge a loss from back in mid-December over at Murray High. Here at Bomar, 2 of 5 from the free throw line so far tonight. First one here is good for the Murray High Lady Tigers. She's the only player to have attempted a free throw tonight for Murray. Lady Marshalls led 38 to 13 at halftime, got out to a 22 to 6 lead at the end of one. Another a really good crisp start to the game for the Lady Marshalls here this evening as the second free throw, no good off to the right. And tracked down here by Marshall County, Jessica Reed, the eighth grader back in here for the Lady Marshalls. She dribbles between the circles. Left side now to Darnell. Darnell working away his tie right-handed dribble. Very high almost, uh, almost looks like they're in the zone, but I think it's a straight man-to-man. Reed is fouled here on the drive. This one uh, will go against Downey. Second on Downey, second team foul this quarter against Murray. Inside of five minutes to play, Lady Marshall leading by 29. Inbounds pass comes into Terry, out to Reed. Reed will retreat back out, leave it here for Schroeder, off to the left side to Darnell. Darnell checks low. Wall trying to get posted up down on the left block. Now to Terry for a three that's no good. Kicks hard off the back of the iron, and the rebound taken out by the free throw line here by Murray High's Miley Smith. Leaves it for Downey, who clears the time stripe. Takes it down the right side of the lane and a nice move, and she puts it up and in. Five of the game now for Reese Downey. 56 to 29. Marshall County's lead at 27. Eden Sandlin and Lauren Knowles will return for the Lady Marshals at the next whistle. Terry to Reed, right side. Reed working her dribble, drives it down to the baseline, cut off there, now retreats back out, shoots an 18-footer that's no good, put back up and in by Wall and a foul. So Wall will be at the free throw line to try to complete a three-point play. The foul is against Neal, it's her third. Sandlin returns for the Lady Marshals, so does Knowles. Harley English also set to a return here for Marshall County. Terry will be out. Eddie Wall hit into the line to try to complete a three-point play here for the Lady Marshals and push their lead back to 30 points. Here's the shot. Got it. Fifth point of the ball game for Eddie Wall. Lady Marshalls 59, Murray High 29 as we hit the four-minute mark of the contest. Across the time stripe here is Downey. Top right side, Miley Smith. The Mayla Smith in the corner. One bounce back out to the wing and leaves it here for Miley Smith. Inside the arc, around to Mayla Smith. They're working that right side, trying to uh, get either uh, Mayla Smith open out of the corner or down on the block, Miley Smith. The Lady Marshals have it covered up pretty well. The Marshals in a 2-3 zone. Deflected pass here. Reed pulls it out of the air. Marshall County is running the other way. And Reed runs the other way. Shot no good. Wall with a follow shot that is good. Marshall County's lead now at 32. 61 to 29. Murray High on their offensive end. In the corner, Mayla Smith. He's back out top right side to Ballard and a foul away from the basketball against Marshall County's Jessica Reed. First foul on Reed. Third team foul this quarter against Marshall County. Murray High puts it in play. Lady Marshall's leading by 32. Bomar in the corner. Launches a three. Round it out. Rebound Marshall County. Now the pass to Reed. Comes through the midcourt logo with a right-handed dribble. Swings it to the right side here to Sandler. Back out to Reed. To Knowles between the circles. To English. To Knowles. Right side to uh, Reed. Now to Wall. Wall 
trying to drop it off down low here for Knowles, and it's picked off here by Bomar. Knocked away from behind on the back tap here by Reed out of bounds at midcourt. Riley Teague and J.C. Wells will return to the Marshall County lineup. Sandlin and Wall will uh, get out, uh, get a breather here for the Lady Marshals. Reese Downey, left side Miley Smith, 24-footer, uh, and it bounces hard off the iron on a miss. And tracked down here at long range by Murray High. They'll keep it on their offensive end. Downey, top right side, feeds it inside here to Bomar, spins, now goes back to the right, and puts it up, partially blocked, I think, by Knowles, who grabs the loose ball. Marshall County runs it the other way. Reed clears the time strike to Knowles, left side to Teague. Teague, back out it comes now to Reed. Side to uh, Teague on the wing. Out to Wells, top of the key. Right side to Sandlin. Sandlin bounces uh, to the high post here to Knowles. Now to English. English takes it into the lane, shoots it off the glass, no good. The rebound taken by Marshall County, or by uh, Murray High, rather. Lady Tigers bring it to their offensive end. Top left side, Miley Smith. Standing in the logo is Downey. And she gives it up here and gets it back on a give and go. Nicely done with her and Ballard. They had a timeout for Murray, I think, just to make some substitutions here. New player's going to get in for Murray. I will keep it right here. At Donahue and Associates, their team of professionals specializes in small business accounting, from payroll and bookkeeping to tax planning and financial strategy. They will ensure your business is covered. Let the accountants crunch the numbers while you focus on success. 270-527. 1418 for Donahue and Associates, small business solutions that count. Mighty Marshalls to their offensive end. Uh, we'll get these new players that are in here for Murray High as we can. Jessica Reed to Knowles. Mighty Marshalls working it around the horn. Off to the right side, this is English. Out to Teague. Deep in the uh, right corner now to English. Back out to Riley Teague. Just out a right handed dribble. Started right. Now back to the left. Goes to J.C. Wells. Out to Teague. To go right baseline, cut off. Back out to Wells, now to Reed. 58 seconds to go on this one. Drive here by Reed. Knocked away from her, picked up by Knowles. Knowles in a double team, out to Reed. And the Lady Marshals will reset. Reed pulls up with an 18 footer that is rolling off. Rebound though to Knowles, and she will dribble out of some traffic and bring it back out top. Lady Marshals will set it back up again. Reed works inside the top of the key. Right side to Wells. Wells trying to get the pick and roll going. Murray High's got it covered up. Now Knowles gets a pass down low here from Reed, and she is called for an offensive foul. Knowles picking up her first. Sixty-one to thirty-one is the uh, lead for the uh, Lady Marshals, and here's a steal by English. English will run it the other way, and she'll put her name in the scorebook here this evening. Lady Marshalls match their biggest lead now at 32, just 10 seconds to go in this one. Murray High on their offensive end. This is Taylor Garland, 5'4", freshman. Out top now to Musu, who's a sophomore into the ballgame, and she cannot get a shot away before the buzzer sounds to end the contest. Lady Marshalls pick up their seventh win in a row to move to 17 and 5 and 5 and 0 in district play 63 to 31 tonight and the first game of this district four doubleheader our post game coverage will be brought to you by Shoparama and 65 and Oak boutique inside Shoparama in Graffinville powered by DC Electric this is WCBL Sports Two minutes, two minutes. You'll always score big and cozy home furnishings. Quality constructed furniture for the whole house. Competitive prices.
quarters almost every game. We didn't put four quarters together. We've got to put four quarters together the rest of the year in order to have the success that, that we're expecting to have in the postseason. Aaron, you guys have a couple of good days of practice getting ready for a Friday night. It comes down uh, to uh, that one uh, on Friday night to decide who's going to get that number one seed for the uh, upcoming district tournament. And uh, I know it's going to be a spirited couple of days as you guys get ready. Yeah, I feel like our matchup's pretty good with them. You know, if we'll just come out, we let Lowe have two or three threes just because we backed off and they were wide open, kind of like we let 20 have tonight. We've, we've got to not give those baskets up. We let Coke have 10, 10-0 10 run by herself into the second quarter, so limit her. And uh, they struggled, you know, they'll struggle to score a little bit. If we if we do the things and we execute our game plan, I feel like we can, you know, disrupt them offensively and then defensively, or on defense. And then on offense, I feel, you know, Chanel had a big game last time. She had 21, I think. We got her the basketball inside and she scored. So we've got to have that balance. We've got to have inside out, not just rely on threes. It's great when we're making threes and I want to shoot them when we're open but we've got to have some balance from our inside game as well. Aaron, uh, winning streak now at seven games. You're at 17 and five and 5-0 uh, and oh in district play. Uh, we will see you on Friday over at Callaway County. All right, thanks, Jeff. Buddy Marshall's head coach, Aaron Bath, again, his postgame comments presented by First Kentucky Bank. At First Kentucky Bank, they have solutions for businesses of all sizes. For the business checking account and cash management service from First Kentucky, business owners can securely and effectively track and manage payroll, expenses, and more, all from one convenient place. First Kentucky's cash management allows businesses to streamline the processes in a cost-effective way so they can focus on the more important aspects of running their company. Learn more about First Kentucky's business banking at firstkentucky.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Lady Marshall's a winner here over Murray High, 63 to 31. We'll come back, get a final word on this one, and we'll get you uh, ready for the Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement pregame show for the Marshalls and the Murray High Tigers. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBO Sports. Let's get one minute, one minute, and I'll wrap it up here, and then we'll get into the uh, pre-10 and pre-11. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I cannot hear you at all. I'm That's a no, they're going to come after the next home game. They, they got some other things they had to go do. So, All right. Lady Marshalls get the district win, 63-31 over the Murray High Lady Tigers. Now in a seven-game winning streak, standing at 17-5 on the season, 5-0 in district play. The Marshalls will try to make it a sweep and avenge a uh, loss from back in mid-December over at Murray High's Rochelle Turner Court, Taylor Gymnasium. Coming up next, it's the Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement pregame show for the Marshalls, the Murray Tigers, and powered by D.C. Electric, this is WCBL Sports. minutes out of that uh, that second segment, Holly. Out of that, when you get to the end of your uh, pregame spots here, just go ahead and go into a three-minute break out of that second segment.
December at Murray, 56 to 39. Marshall's head coach, Saul Yudana, who's joining us for this season. I get three minutes here and I'll take it live. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Just have it ready to fire. We'll get one more break in.
Starting lineups brought to you by Mediacom Channel 8, the channel about you and your community. 1 to 11 p.m. each day, professionally produced local programming on Mediacom Channel 8, including a, a tape-delayed telecast of tonight's District 4 doubleheader. Murray High, 18 and 7 under 7th year head coach Dior Curtis. The guards will be Colin Wilson, 6'3", senior, averaging 11 points, 3 rebounds a game, along with Drew May, 6'2", senior, averaging 7 points, 3 rebounds a contest. The forwards, Lincoln English, 6'4", senior, 12 points, 6 rebounds a game. And Jeremiah Jones, 6'5", junior, 11 points, 3 rebounds a game. Had 20 in the earlier meeting with the Marshals back on December the 12th. Xavion Carmen starts in the middle, 6'6", senior, 11 points, 8 rebounds a game. The Marshals 17-4 and four on an 8-game winning streak under second-year head coach Sawyer Donahue. The guards will be Alex Staples, 5'11", junior, and Tommy Robertson, 6'1", junior. The forwards, Oren Phelps, a 6'2", senior, 4 points, 4 rebounds a game. For Staples uh, at the guard position, 14 points, 2 rebounds a game. Robertson, third on the team in scoring, 10 points, 4 rebounds a game. Also at forward, Logan Parker, 6'4", senior, 8.6 rebounds a game. And Matthew Lange rounds out the front line for the Marshals. 6'4", freshman, 12 points and 5 rebounds a game. Again, the starting lineups brought to you by Mediacom Channel 8. We've got tip-off. Uh, the Marshals of the Murray Tigers coming up next. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. All right, uh, get uh, 30 in the prayer, 30 in the prayer.
from the free throw line. And his first one here is no good off the back of the iron. Another one coming for Matthew Lange. We were scoreless, 63 seconds into this one. Lange is ready. Fires up the second one. This one is good. Lange gets one of two. Marshalls lead it one to nothing. Marshalls will pick up a man-to-man -man at the time strike as Jones crosses the line and heads off to the left side. Feeds it between the circles here to Carmen. Left of the circle to Wilson. Wilson looking for the pick and roll, gets it to Carmen. Carmen knocked over Staples. No whistle, and Carmen puts it up and in on a bank shot. Murray High grabs a two-to-one lead. Marshalls back the other way. Lange out to Staples. Right side three. Got it. Alex Staples with an FNB Bank 3 off the right wing, and the Marshalls move back in front. Marshall County 4, Murray High 2. Murray High to their offensive end, dressed in the black uniforms, gold numbers and letters. Marshalls in the home whites. Carmen gets it down low in the pick and roll, and his pass back out deflected. Marshall County's got it. Parker runs it the other way. He puts it up no good, but a foul against Carmen. Harmon will pick up his first. Team foul number two against Murray. And at the line for the Marshalls, it'll be Logan Parker's up over 80% from the stripe. Now at 82%, Marshall County at 76%, number seven in the state in team free throw shooting this week. Parker ready for the first one. It is rolling in. That one's a little wobbly, danced around a bit, but finds the bottom for Logan Parker. And the Marshall County lead is three. Parker ready for his second. Eyes and fires. Got this one, too. Marshall's leading it by four. Six to two. So we hit the six-minute mark of the first quarter. Drew May up the near side. Dribbles down to the right wing. Cuts uh, to the uh, elbow. Leaves it here for English. English trying to circle down to the baseline. He muscles up a shot. No good, but Carmen is there to collect it and put it back up and in on the offensive rebound. Marshall County quickly in the front court as they get it in play. Murray's back defensively. Lange runs off the screen. Lange spins to the elbow. Out to Parker on the right side. Marshalls will reset. Parker drives the right baseline. Cut off all the way through to Lange. Bluffs a three out of the corner near side. Back out top left here to Staples. Marshall County with the early two-point lead. Staples cuts across the uh, top of the logo here. Left side bounce pass to Robertson. Tommy holds it out in front of him. Gets it down to Parker. Parker puts it in off the glass. Marshall's leading it by four, eight to four, nearing the five-minute mark of the first quarter. Our Hillary Washer State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Marshall's settle into that man-to-man -man defense. English, top of the key, left side to Jones. Robertson out on him, now to Wilson. He fakes a three, drives it into the lane, hangs in the air, shoots it off the glass, no good. Rebound, Phelps had it. Jones knocked it away from him. Now Jones has his shot blocked by Parker. Wilson has it, and he should be called for traveling. Nope, they're going to call a jump ball. And the arrow will give it to Marshall County. 8-4, to four, Marshall County with the lead. Full court pressure coming here from Murray. Inbounds pass comes to the backcourt here to Logan Parker. Matthew Lange has it now, and he'll work it up the floor here. Wilson comes to challenge him as he crosses the time strike. Lange leaves it for Staples. Staples around to the right side to Parker. Whips it down low to Phelps. Had a little trouble with it. Collects it to Robertson. Fade away 12-footer is no good. Rebound kept alive by Parker, but Carmen has it for Murray. 8-4. Marshalls with the lead. Drew May in the front court. Hesitates. Takes it down the left side. Shoots it off the glass and in. Tough shot by May on that 12-footer on the run. Marshall County back the other way. Staples will answer with one of his own. Almost the same exact shot that uh, May made down here on Murray High's offensive end. Marshall County's lead back at four, 10 to six. Jeremiah Jones crosses the time strike. Dribbles up to the top of the key. Lange out on him defensively. Left side to May. In the corner to Carmen. Inside the arc. Carmen puts down his dribble. Trying to back his way in. He's cut off out to Jones. He's going to launch a three right side that's good. Jones made three threes against the Marshals in the earlier meeting. Staples fouled here at midcourt by Jones. 
Jones picking up his first. Team foul number three against Murray. Ryan Stokes set to check in here for the Marshals. It'll be Warren Phelps to get a breather. Marshall County 10, Murray High 9, 3.36 to play first quarter. Marshall County ball right here in front of us in the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. Ryan Stokes angles off to the right side. Leaves it here for Staples. Staples puts down his dribble. Takes it into the lane. Puts up a runner. No good. Looked like he was undercut a bit. And Murray High looking for the lead back. 10-9. Marshall County with the advantage. Carmen dribbles it into front court. Now to May. May top left side out near the uh, sideline. Runs off a screen here. Gets to the top of the key. Parker switches out on him. May backs it up between the circles. Right side to Carmen. Staples out on him. They give him room out there. Not really a three-point threat. The rest of them are, though. Left side, Jones takes it in the corner. Lange on him. Down low to English. English trying to muscle his way up for a shot, and it's good. Lincoln English with a strong move underneath for Murray. And the Tigers are back in front, 11 to 10. 2.48 to play first quarter. Marshall County with the ball. Stokes with the dribble out top. Being checked here defensively by Jones. Bounced right to the circle here to Staples. Staples makes his move. His shot off the glass is good. Alex Staples now with seven. And the Marshals move back in front. Already four lead changes here in the first uh, five and a half minutes. Marshall County 12. Murray High 11. 2.20 to go. Drew May wants a three. Off the mark. Long rebound, though. Murray High has got it. English trying to move his way back in toward the bucket. Drops it off across the way here to Jones for a three that is no good. And a foul on the rebound against, if it's Carmen, that's his second. Yep. Xavion Carmen has picked up his second foul. And it comes with 2.07 to play in the first quarter. 12-11, Marshall County with the lead. Carmen is out. Aiden Armstrong. 6'4 sophomore, averages five points, two rebounds a game, and off the bench for Carmen. Stokes clears the time stripe under heavy pressure here from Jones. Leaves it here for Staples. Staples wants to drive it. Spins into the lane, had it stripped away, and now a tie-up, and the arrow should give it to Murray. Yep. Marshall County 12, Murray High 11, 153 to play first quarter. Lady Marshall's a 32-point winner in our earlier game tonight. Marshalls and Lady Marshalls head to Callaway County for a big doubleheader coming up uh, on Friday. No backcourt pressure here from the Marshalls. They'll pick up a man-to-man -man at the time strike. Drew May between the circles, looking to bounce it left side. Now has to throw a chest pass here to Jones. Lob pass underneath for English. Had to tip it to himself. Now trying to back his way in and throws it out here for Armstrong. Now to May, 12-footer right side. Good for Drew May. Very high back ahead, 13 to 12, 125 to play first quarter. Stokes comes down here for the Marshals, hands it off to Robertson, back to Stokes on the left wing. Stokes takes it into the lane and draws a foul, a blocking foul here against English. First on English, team foul number five against Murray. And at the line, it'll be Ryan Stokes for Murray high, or for a, uh, the Marshals, six foot sophomore headed to the Taco John's line for the first time tonight. Ryan on the season, 57% from the free throw line. Let's the first one go here. Good. Stokes will try to shoot Marshall County back into the advantage. Tied at 13. Second free throw rims out. Rebound belongs to Murray. Nearing the one-minute mark of the first quarter. Jones comes through the uh, logo and waits. Just a couple of steps over into offensive court to May, right corner, out to Armstrong, now to Jones, left of the circle, Lange out on him, Kaiser Phillips will check in for the Marshals at the next whistle. Right side, May takes it, Tommy Robertson on him. They're trying to get it to English down low, but right now Logan Parker's got him covered up. So May will bring it all the way back into the logo. Fires it right side here to Jones, now to English. English trying to back his way in. English pivots, has to throw it back out here to May. May wants to drive it to Jones, left side. Jones takes it to the elbow and cut off there by Lange. Tried to drop it off down low to English, and not sure English was expecting that pass out of bounds. It will be Marshall County ball. Kaiser Phillips in for the Marshalls. 5'10", junior, six points, two rebounds a game. And getting a breather here will be Tommy Robertson. So it's Parker, Stokes, Staples, Lange, and Phillips for the Marshalls. 
and they will likely look for the final shot of the first quarter. 27 seconds to play in the opening quarter as Stokes clears the time strike. Headed off to the right side, now works back left. May comes out a little closer, trying to get a five-second count started. And now he gets it away here to Lange, to Staples. Staples wants a three, that's good! Alex Staples with his second FNB Bank three of the first quarter. May comes down, I'm not sure he knows the clock is running out. He's gonna pull up for a three that's no good. Marshall County by three as we head to the second, 16 to 13. That action we return to the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. three with time winding down there in the first quarter from Alex Staples. We will make that our Woods Enchanted Florist delivery of the game. Since 1957, Woods Enchanted Florist has been uh, delivering the right flowers at the right time, helping Marshall County say it with flowers for 66 years. Order any time by calling 527-1024 or online at woodsenchantedflorist.com. Marshalls will have the ball in a three-point lead as we begin the second quarter. Phillips, Stokes, Staples, Parker, and Lange for the Marshals to open up the uh, second. Stokes has it, runs it off to the right side, an offensive court. Murray man-to-man -man defensively. Stokes uh, worked inside the arc, now reverses direction, out to Staples. Staples trying to spin, leaves it here for Parker on the left baseline. Back to Staples, now to Stokes. Stokes drives it right side, gets into the lane, lifts up a tough shot, no good, kept alive, out of bounds. It will be Murray high ball. 16-13 is the uh, lead for Marshall County. May will come across the time stripe here with a, a high right-handed dribble. Left side to English. Phelps will return for the Marshalls at the next whistle. Jones trying to back his way in. Shot blocked by Parker. Loose ball, and it's out of bounds. It will be Marshall County ball as Jones and Staples both hustling into the uh, into the Marshall County bench for that one. Ryan Stokes did as well. Stokes comes up... Uh, Grimacing just a little bit. Now Parker will get a breather as Phelps has returned here for the Marshals. So it's uh, Stokes, Phelps, Phillips, Lange, and Staples. Carmen on the bench for Murray High with two fouls. Staples gets it away to Lange. Drives the right baseline. Muscles up a shot. Good. Lange puts the Marshall County lead at 5, 18 to 13. Murray High to their offensive end. May to Wilson, left corner. Does not have room for the three. Back out it comes to Armstrong. Dribbling between the circles. Right side to Jones. Jones looking for a screen. Angles left. Cuts inside the arc. Now a step back three on the way is good for Jeremiah Jones. Well, this guy can uh, shoot threes against Marshall County and against not many other teams. On the season, just a 30% three-point shooter, but... Uh, he seems to make them when he's uh, going up against the Marshals. Stokes, left side to Staples. Staples takes it into the lane, puts up a runner that rolls in. Staples with a hot hand for the Marshals. Marshall County's lead at four, 20 to 16. May runs off a screen. Nobody open on the pick and roll. They wanted to get it to English. Marshall's had it covered up. Round it comes to Jones. Lange closes out on him. Jones holds it above his head. Top left side to Wilson. And a foul away from the basketball against Marshall County's Kaiser Phillips. First on uh, Phillips. First of this quarter. First of the game, in fact, against the Marshalls. Marshall County 20, Murray 16. 6.07 to play first half. Murray High to play it in from the baseline on their offensive end. Comes into Armstrong. Out to Jones. Into the corner now to May. Drives left baseline. Cut off there. Has to toss it back out here to Armstrong. Murray High will get it back into the hands of May. Now to Jones, right of the circle. 
Jones bluffs, drives it into the lane, leans in with a shot that is no good. Lange goes up and collects the rebound for Marshall County. Lange comes off running up the near side. Murray High is back defensively. Lange gets it into the hands of Stokes, the point guard. Hand off, uh, nope, he uh, passes up the handoff to Phillips. Phillips will pop out to the top of the key and take it on a pass now. Lange drives it to the elbow, cut off there. Staples is there after it was knocked away from Lange. Now Jones knocks it away, but Lange's got it back. Lange pulls up, jump shot, no good. Rebound taken by Murray. 5.23 to go first half. Marshall County 20, Murray High 16. Jones comes up the near side. Xavion Carmen on the Murray High bench with two fouls. Jones left side to Armstrong at long range. Down to the left wing to May. Bounces it down to the left baseline here to English. English trying to back his way in. Throws it out to Jones across the lane. Could not get a shot. Marshalls did a good job on English in the post there. May has it now out uh, between the circles. Left side to English. Inside of five minutes to play first half. Wilson top of the circle. Bluff to three. Now gets it away to English. English wants to drive it. Trying to back his way in. Leans in with a shot off the glass. No good. Phelps gets the rebound for Marshall County. Stokes throws it up ahead here for Staples. Staples leans in with a shot. No good. And he's called for an offensive foul. Staples picks up his first. Second team foul this quarter against Marshall County. Maddox Mitchell into the game for Murray. 6'2 sophomore, averages three points, one rebound a game. 4.40 to go first half. Marshall County 20, Murray High 16. Murray High with a ball to bring left to right as we watch it from the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. Jeremiah Jones will work it up the floor here for Murray. Comes through the uh, center circle, very uh, deliberate coming through the uh, backcourt. Leaves it here for Mitchell. Robertson, Moeller, and Parker will check in for the Marshals at the next whistle. Jones gets it back from May, deep in the right corner here for Murray. Near steal by Staples, taps it over to the backcourt. He does have it. Staples, Euro step, puts it up no good, but a foul against Murray. This foul will go against Mitchell. First on him, team foul number one of this quarter against Murray. And Alex Staples will be at the line for Marshall County. He's number 26 in the state this week. And uh, free throw shooting at 84%. First appearance of the line tonight for Alex. Shooting a pair. First one on the way and good. 13 points now for Alex Staples. Marshall's leading it by five, matching their biggest lead of the ball game. Staples uh, can give him a new high mark on that. If he can drop in this second Tonko Johns charity shot. Here it is. Got it. Six-point lead for the Marshals. Murray High wants to talk about things. 4-14 to play first half. Marshals 22, Murray High 16. Powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. 30 in the ID. Business owner that struggles to close your books each month, let Donahue and Associates at 816 Poplar and Benton be your solution. Their team of accounts can navigate the numbers so you can focus on what you do best, growing your business. From payroll and bookkeeping to tax planning and financial strategy, they have all of your small business accounting needs covered at Donahue and Associates. Marshall's out to their biggest lead now at six points, 22 to 16. Lady Marshall's a 32 point winner in the earlier game tonight. Murray High with the ball out of their timeout. Drew May crosses the time stripe here. Right side gets it away to Jones. Carmen's back in, playing with two fouls here for the Tigers. Gets it down low, puts it up. It's good. They went right to him, and he was able to put it up and in on a bank shot. Take under four minutes to go first half. Caden Muller across the line for the Marshall, seeing his first action of the night. Staples has it knocked away by Jones, and out of bounds to Murray High as Staples touched it last in the scramble for the loose ball. Colin Wilson set to return here for Murray. And 
and sitting down will be Drew May. Parker, Lange, Staples, Robertson, and Moeller here for Marshall County. Jones crosses the time stripe up the near side of the or uh, far side of the floor, I should say. Still working the dribble up to the top of the key, backs up between the circles. Left side to English, dribbles just inside the arc, near the elbow to Wilson. Wilson uh, retreats back out, couple of dribbles, now to English. Marshall's matched up man-to-man -man defensively. English, cross-court pass here to Mitchell. Out of the right wing to Wilson, both feet outside the arc. Wilson looking low, he's picked up his dribble, now he gets it out to English. Underneath, now to Carmen. Carmen uh, down to the right block, working against Parker. Goes up underneath the basket. Now English is going to launch a three that is no good. Marshall County grabs the rebound. Moeller in a hurry here for the Marshals. Takes it down, leaves it here for Staples. Staples puts it in. 16 first half points now for Alex Staples. Marshall County by a half dozen, 24 to 18. 2.46 to go, first half. Jones jumps just across the time strike. And he takes a couple of steps forward. Still in the logo. Right side to Wilson. Staples out on him of the Marshall County man to man. Now English pops out to get it at long range. To Jones down to the left wing. Back out now to Mitchell. 2.27 to play first half. Our Hillary Washer State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Marshall's by six. English, lob pass underneath here for Carmen, and Carmen puts it up and in. Nice pass from the top of the key there uh, from English to Carmen. Marshall's uh, could not have defended that. That was just a too well placed of a pass right there by English. Marshall's to their offensive end. Staples fires it out to Moeller for a three. No good. Long rebound and a foul against Marshall County. Foul against Tommy Robertson. First on Tommy, team foul number three against the Marshals. Drew May set to return here for Murray. Mitchell is uh, out as May checks back in. So it's the original five on the floor here for Murray. Lincoln English, uh, Jones, May, Wilson, and Carmen. 150 to go here, first half. May takes it on the left side. Now over to Jones. Bluffs, drives it into the lane, steps through, and a foul called against Marshall County. Question is, are they going to say he was in the act of shooting? Marshall County foul is against Moeller. Yeah, they do say he was in the act, so it'll be Jones at the free throw line for Murray. Jones on the season, a 75% free throw shooter. A right-handed shooter, terrific football player, too, for the Tigers, puts the first one up at head. Getting a lot of Division I football interest. That draws Murray to within three, 24-21. One more shot coming here for Jeremiah Jones. Robertson is out. Phelps is back in for the Marshals. Also Stokes has returned. Second free throw, no good. And a long rebound off the back of the iron taken by Marshall County's Logan Parker. Stokes sees some backcourt pressure coming. Moves it up to the time strike. Throws it across the line now to Parker. Parker gets it away to Phelps. Phelps drives it in, puts up the shot, and a blocking foul here against Wilson. Shot was no good, but Wilson has picked up the foul. First on him. And Oren Phelps will tow the Taco Johns line here for the Marshals. 73% on the season is Oren Phelps. Oren had that cut uh, he suffered uh, on the top of his head. And the win here on Saturday night against Paducah Tillman. Was out for a few minutes, uh, came back in. And seems to be no worse for wear. First free throw is rolling out. Phelps will have one more. Marshall's leading by three, 24 to 21. A minute and a half to play until halftime. Phelps is ready. Second one, airborne. This one trickles through. Phelps gets one of two, and the Marshall County lead is four, 25 to 21. 125 to go, first half. Jeremiah Jones comes through the uh, midcourt logo here for Murray. Heads off to the right side, wants to drive it, and he throws it away. Kind of stumbling. Uh, I think he uh, would like to uh, think that he got fouled. 
There was a little bit of contact there, but I think he stumbled at about the same time and just tried to throw it back out of there out of uh, some trouble, and it goes out of bounds on the far side. Backcourt pressure again here from Murray. Lange bounces it up to the time stripe here to Staples, and Staples is called for traveling. Wilson did a good job to jump it his way. I don't think Alex knew he was there. 1-11 to play first half. 25-21 the lead for Marshall County. Murray High about to get the ball back right here at midcourt. Inbounds pass comes into May just over the backcourt. Puts down a right-handed dribble. Comes uh, across the time strike. Feeds the high post here to Carmen. Carmen looking low. Marshall's have English covered up to May. Cross-court pass to Wilson. He wants a three out of the corner. That is no good. Rebound, though, to Carmen, and he goes back up no good. Marshall County grabs it here. Lange comes off running. Lange still on the move. Feeds it out here to Staples' left side. Now to Stokes. Marshall's will set things up. Down to 42 seconds to play first half. Marshall's leading it 25 to 21. Stokes around to the right side. Now reverses back to the left. Needs some help. And able to get it away here to Parker. Parker bounces it out to Lange, right wing. Lange fakes, leaves it here for Stokes. 25 seconds to go in the first half. Stokes puts down his dribble, angles off to the left side. Now to Staples on the wing. Staples leaves it down here for Stokes. Stokes comes all the way out to Lange. Three right wing, no good. Rebound kept alive by Parker, put up and in by Phelps. Five seconds to go, first half. Marshall's by six. May dribbles down. Wants to take it to the baseline, and he is fouled as he goes up for a shot. This was inside the arc. They're going to give him three shots. That was a two-point shot. They're going to give him three shots. That was a two-point shot. There's no way that was a three-point attempt. The foul is against Ryan Stokes. His first. Now two shots. The officials, that's a sign of a veteran crew. They get together and uh, make sure that uh, everybody's on the same page. So it'll just be two shots here for May, and the first one is good. May, a good free throw shooter for Murray. On the season, uh, over 60% from the line. Time has expired here in the first half. May's second free throw is off the mark. And your halftime score will be Marshall County 27, Murray High 22. Stay tuned. We have our Marshall County halftime report manufactured beautifully by Champion Homes of Benton. Focus on MCHS brought to you by the Marshall County Board of Education and produced by the students in the media arts class at Marshall County High School. Also uh, coming up, we'll have the Lake Kim halftime summary and all of the first half numbers brought to you by Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement. Marshall's leading it by five here at the break, 27 to 22. Empowered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. Let's go two, focus five, and a minute.
focus on inquiry threads and weekly feature dedicated to who and what's making news in Martin Luther King. This program is sponsored by the Martin Luther King Marshall County Board of Education and the Marshall County School Board. On this program, we're visiting with Corey Pickman, the new job here in Audubon. So, Mr. Pickman, how is your experience been going? Uh, the experience has been pretty pleasant so far. my first year Marshall's leading by five here at halftime, 27 to 22 over the Murray High Tigers. And our halftime report again, manufactured beautifully by Champion Homes of Benton. Become a champion and apply for your new career at championhomes.com. One tie and five lead changes all in the first quarter. The Marshals led the entire second quarter, have led by as many as six, lead by five right now, 27 to 22. And our halftime summary presented by Lake Kim Community Federal Credit Union. It's like banking only better. Visit one of their locations, Calvert City, Graffinville, or Murray, to discover the Lake Kim difference. 
member NCUA. Marshall leading by five, and let's take a look at the first half scoring numbers presented by Raymond James Financial Advisors, Rich Hendrickson, Casey Griffith, Travis Thompson, and Kayla Barrett at Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement. Strength emerges from solid risk management, and Raymond James has the stability to stick with a principled investment discipline established when they were founded, and their long-term perspective on investing hasn't changed over the years. Maintaining a steady course in challenging markets is not always easy, but achievable when you're standing on solid business principles. If you're looking for a well-constructed financial plan for you and your family, call advisors Rich Hendrickson, Casey Griffith, Travis Thompson, and Kayla Barrett at Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement at 105 West 5th and Benton, 270-906-2139. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, Life Well Plan, member FINRA, and SIPC. Marshall's led 16 to 13 at the end of one, lead by five here at the break, 27 to 22. Alex Staple, 16 points to lead all scores. Four points for Logan Parker, three apiece for Matthew Lange and Oren Phelps, one point for Ryan Stokes. Murray being led here at the break by Xavion Carmen's eight points. He was saddled with foul trouble a good part of the first half, has two personal fouls here at the break. Seven points for Jeremiah Jones, five for Drew May, two points for Lincoln English. Yeah, the Marshals by five here at halftime, 27 to 22. And the first half scoring number is presented by Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement. And the Marshall County halftime report has been manufactured beautifully by Champion Homes of Benton. Become a champion and apply for your new career at championhomes.com. Third quarter when we return, powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. All right, Holly, you can go ahead and get two and a half minutes here. They had the extended halftime, so you can get two and a half, two and a half. Since 1957, Woods Enchanted Florist has been delivering the right flowers at the right time, helping Marshall County say it with flowers for 66 years. Order any time by calling 527-1024 or online at woodsenchantedflorist.com. And this broadcast also brought to you in part by Power Sports of America, featuring Polaris, Can-Am, Kawasaki, Honda, and CF Moto, 3051 Old Husbands Road, exit 11 off of I-24 in Paducah, or online at powersportsofamerica.com. Ride today with POA. 
Marshals will have Stokes, Parker, Lange, Staples, and Robertson to open up the uh, third quarter. Murray High basketball to open up the uh, third. I would assume the uh, Tigers will come with their original five of uh, Carmen, English, May, Wilson, and Jones. They're still huddled around their head coach, Dior Curtis. Two excellent uh, coaches in this one tonight. Dior Curtis and Sawyer Donahue, two great coaches, particularly at teaching defense. Great man-to-man uh, -man defense played by both teams. And it will be the original five for Murray High. Colin Wilson will put it in play from the far sideline. Comes into Jones. Lange will pick him up in the Marshall County man-to-man. -man. Third quarter underway. Jones gets it on a give-and-go. Marshall switch out on him. Staples has him now. Jones could not get to the baseline. Retreats back out into the logo. Feeds the high post here to Carmen. Tried to drop it off down low to English. Knocked away and out of bounds by Stokes. Murray will play it in from the baseline on their offensive end. Marshall's leading it by five. Inbounds pass uh, in the corner here to May. Now to English. English trying to back his way in. He's too far underneath the goal. Gets it away to Carmen. Carmen's shot is partially blocked, but a foul called against Logan Parker. That'll be Logan's first foul of the night. Just underway third quarter with the Marshalls leading by five. Carmen a 65% free throw shooter on the season. This will be his first trip to the line tonight for the Tigers. A right-handed shooter. 6'6", six, six senior. Speaking of Good football players for Murray. He's one of them, too. His first free throw is no good. Several of these guys on that uh, Murray High football team. Colin Wilson was the quarterback for the Tigers this past season. Carmen ready for his second charity toss. Let's it go. Rattles this one in. Carmen gets one of two. And Murray High is going to pick up in uh, some backward pressure. 2-2-1 two, two, press. Comes into Stokes deep in the backcourt. Crossover dribble. Comes all the way to the time stripe. No goes, goes ahead and comes across. Comes down to the left side and waits. Marshalls will set it up. Robertson pops out to get it right side. Now left of the circle to Stokes. About three feet behind the arc. Marshalls with their first possession of the third quarter. Stokes to Robertson. Three straight away. No good. Rebound taken by Murray High. 27-23. Marshall County with the lead. Murray High runs it in the front court. May angles off to the right side. Now backs up. And his pass is kicked here by Stokes. Marshall's leading it by four, 27 to 23. Have led by as many as six. Murray has not led since the first quarter. Tigers to uh, put the ball in play from the far sideline. Comes in here to Wilson. Long inbounds pass from Jones to Wilson. Marshall's had everybody else covered up. Left side, Wilson gets it on the wing. Bluffs a three. Wants to drive it to the uh, baseline here. Puts the shot off the glass and in on a tough move. Colin Wilson with his first bucket of the night. Backcourt pressure again here from Murray. Robertson comes down the near side into front court. Uh, he throws it back out here for Stokes as Murray High recovers out of the uh, full court press back into their man-to-man uh, -man in the half court. Parker to Lange, top left side to Stokes. Stokes dribbles down and hands it off on the wing here to Lange. Lange has it knocked away and picked up by Carmen. Carmen throws it up ahead, intercepted by Stokes. Marshall's back the other way. Stokes dribbles into the uh, top of the circle, now retreats back out. Marshall's will set things up here, leading by two, 27 to 25, scoreless through the first minute and 40 seconds of the third quarter. Until then, after the spin move by Tommy Robertson and a soft four-foot jump shot rattles in. Six minutes to go, third quarter. Hillary Washer State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Jones to the top of the key. Puts up a three that's good. It's his third three of the night. He shoots 30% on the season, but he shoots about 80% against Marshall County. Across the line, and Stokes brings it here for the Marshalls and a double team to Lange. Lange bluffs, takes it into the lane, lifts it up with the left hand. No good, but a foul. Matthew Lange headed to the line for the Marshalls, and this Murray High foul is against Wilson. That'll be his second first of this quarter against the Tigers. Marshall County's lead trimmed to one, 29 to 28, 536 to go third quarter. Matthew Lange one of two from the free throw line so far tonight. 84% on the season. First one here is good. Can uh, give the Marshalls a three-point lead. He can drop in his second. Here it is. 
This one takes a dance around the iron, but finds the bottom of the net for Lange's fifth point of the ball game. 31-28, Marshall's by three. Murray high with the ball. Robertson picks up May in the backcourt, gets a screen uh, across the line here from Carmen. Now May pulls up 16-footer left side is no good. Marshall County grabs the rebound. Stokes still in a hurry. Murray High is back defensively, so Stokes will check his speed, and the Marshals will set it up. Between the circles to Robertson. Out of the right side to Staples. Staples takes it into the lane. He's in some trouble. Out to Parker on the right wing. Back out to Stokes, and the Marshals will reset. 5.05 to play in the third. Marshals leading it by three. Parker, hand off to Staples. Staples drives it out to Robertson. Three left corner. Good. Tommy Robertson with an FNB Bank three for the Marshals. Get your Marshall County Spirit debit card exclusively at FNB Bank and support Marshall County Schools. Go to girlwithfnb.com, member FDIC. 4.42 to play in the third. Marshall County leading by six. Wilson has it top right side here for Murray. Has picked up his dribble. Leaves it here uh, for May. May tried to get to the baseline, cut off, uh, down into the corner. Now English takes it. Now between the circles to Carmen. Carmen uh, waits for Jones to come back out and take it. And he'll set things back in motion here for Murray. Jones looks back over at uh, Coach Dior Curtis, gets some instructions, trying to run off a ball screen. The Marshals stay in front of it. And his lob pass for English is too tall. Down on the left block, out of bounds along the baseline. And the Marshals will bring it the other way. It's like some full court uh, man-to-man pressure now from Murray. Stokes has it in the backcourt, throws it up, head to Staples. Marshalls may have numbers. Staples comes down, puts it up. It is no good. Followed up and hit. No. Robertson missed the uh, putback. And Murray High grabs the rebound here. Four minutes to go in the third. Boy, the Marshalls missed a chance there. Jones between the circles. Picks up his dribble. Fires it left side here to May. Now to Wilson, down to the left wing to Carmen. Carmen uh, takes a few steps in, and his pass to the post intercepted by Stokes. Throws it up ahead to Staples, and threw it too long. Out of bounds to uh, Murray. Staples thought that he had gotten there in time to save it, but uh, out of bounds to the Tigers. A couple of uh, missed transition opportunities here for the Marshals. 34-28, to 28, Marshall County with a six-point lead in the ball, or uh, Murray with the ball, I should say. May clears the time stripe. Robertson on him and the Marshall County man to man. May up to the top of the key. Parker switches out on him. Now to Jones. Holds it above his head on the right wing. Fires it left side now to Wilson. Wilson holds it above his head. Taken away by Stokes. Stokes runs it the other way here for the Marshals. Comes down against Carmen and fouled here. Let's check the call here. It's going to go against Carmen. That'll be his third. There's another Murray High player uh, coming down defensively there, but uh, Carmen has picked up his third with 3.16 to play in the third quarter. First free throw by Stokes is good. Ryan now two of three from the Taco John's free throw line tonight. Harris Moore is in, Carmen is out here for Murray. For Moore, it'll be his first action of the night. He is a 6'3 freshman, averages two points, two rebounds a game. Second free throw by Stokes. Got it. Marshall's had the sub up to the uh, table, but uh, Murray got the ball in the play very quickly. Eight-point lead for the Marshalls, 36-28. to 28. It's their biggest of the night. Murray high on their offensive end. Jones backs up into the uh, logo, the MC logo to Moore. Bounces it down low to English. English trying to back his way in, now throws it across here to May. He'll fire up a three that is no good. Rebound Logan Parker for Marshall County. Outlet pass to Stokes. Stokes accelerates up the near side, crosses the timeline, works down and waits. Hand off to Robertson. Robertson runs off a screen, cuts into the lane, and it's intercepted. And Murray High has it coming the other way with 2.37 to go in the third. Marshall County leading by eight. Jones dribbles down on the left side here for Murray. Into the corner now here for Moore. Out it comes to Wilson. Wilson bluffs the three. Got Robertson off his feet, but still didn't have enough room to uh, fire up the uh, the three-point try. English backing his way in. Now he fires it back out. Three-point try by Moore. No good. And a long rebound, and Tommy Robertson runs it down here in the near corner. 2-10 to play in the third. Marshalls lead it by eight, 36-28. 
Stokes. Angles off to the left side in front court. Dribble handoff to Lange. Lange gets it away here to Parker. Parker's fouled by Jones. Marshalls ran that pick and roll well, and Jones had no choice but to foul to prevent the layup. Jones picking up his second. Xavion Carmen on the Murray High bench with three fouls. Oren Phelps returns for the Marshalls. So does Kaiser Phillips. And it will be Marshall County basketball from the baseline on their offensive end. Staples awaits the ball to put it in play. Still looking. Lobs it in here for Lange in the corner. Staples pops back around to get it. And a bump foul here against Murray. Harris Moore will pick this one up. First on Moore. And team foul number four against Murray. So the Marshals will start shooting two with the next one. 157 to go here in the third quarter. And bounce pass back to Lange again to Staples. Staples knifes into the lane, and he puts the shot up high off the glass. No good. And the rebound belonged to English. Got it away to Phillips, and Phillips was raked across the face, and a foul called. Foul will be against Drew May, and that'll be his second. Team foul number five against Murray. So Kaiser Phillips will be at the line. He's uh, blinking rapidly trying to... Uh, Get uh, his sight uh, back uh, clear there. That was unintentional. May didn't mean to uh, rake him across the face. They were both going after the loose ball. First free throw by Phillips is no good. Another one coming for Kaiser Phillips. He'll try to make it a nine-point Marshall County lead. Clock arrested, 148 to play in the third. Marshall County 36, Murray 28. Phillips puts the second one in the air, and this one is good. Phillips gets one of two. Marshall lead it by nine. 37 28. May comes up the far side of the floor with a right handed dribble. Stokes on him defensively. May to English. English drives it here in a foul against Stokes. Second on Stokes. Second of this quarter against the Marshals. Moeller will be out here or back in for the Marshals. Phillips is going to be out. I'm not sure Kaiser's still gotten over that. Uh, Finger to the uh, eye there. I think he's going to get some attention from the Marshall County trainer, Jim Salmon. English has his shot blocked. Marshall, uh, I believe it was uh, Phelps that came and blocked the shot. Murray High folks wanted a foul. Marshall's grabbed the uh, loose ball. Phelps has it on Marshall County's offensive end. Stokes leaves it between the circles here to Phelps. And now to uh, Stokes, and his pass intercepted here by May. Murray High will run it the other way. May comes down, does not have numbers, but he draws a foul. This foul will be against Stokes. That's his third. First Marshall County player to pick up three. So it'll be Cash Henson checking in here for the Marshals. Uh, Stokes will have to sit down after picking up his third foul. Murray High will put it in play for the baseline. Lob pass out to the elbow here to English. English trying to back his way in. Shot no good, but a foul called against Oren Phelps. The Phelps picks up his first. Fourth of this quarter against the Marshals, and it'll be Lincoln English at the line for Murray, where he shoots 56% on the season. Marshals leading it by nine, 37 to 28. And Lincoln English with his first appearance at the free throw line tonight for Murray High. Let's the first one go, and it's good. Third point of the ball game for English, the 6 4 super senior for Murray High. Ready for his second, and he got them both. English calmly drains both free throws there for the Tigers, gives them a chance to organize their full court press. Moeller takes into the backcourt. Moeller will be checked defensively up the floor here by Drew May as Murray High brings everybody back uh, into Marshall County offensive court. Now Henson has it for the Marshals. Right side to Lange. Lange back out to Henson. 52 seconds to play in the third. Henson has it, runs off a screen. Can't go with it to Phelps. Phelps sees an opening and he lost the handle and he was able to flip it behind his back just trying to save it in bounds, and fortunately for him, unfortunately for Lincoln English, it hit him in the face, and it goes back out of bounds off of Lincoln English. 
Think, uh, English is okay. Dazed for a moment there, uh, perhaps. Uh, that ball had a little velocity on it. Moeller works it down here on the right side, dribbled it off his foot, out of bounds. 37 to 30. Marshall County leads by seven, but a turnover has given Murray High the ball back. Jones will bring it up the floor here for Murray. Gets a screen off to the left side. Wants to take it. Has it taken away here by Henson. Henson uh, grabs the uh, ball away from Jones. Henson. And he's fouled from behind here by May. Drew May picking up his third. And Murray High is over the limit. So it'll be Cash Henson at the Taco Johns line to shoot twice for the Marshals. Cash Henson. On the season for Marshall County, 12 of 14 from the free throw line. Henson, six foot junior for the Marshalls, lets the first one go, and it's no good off the back of the iron. Marshalls have missed three. Let's see, three of their last five from the free throw line. I believe that's right. One of the best free throw shooting teams in the state. A little shaky here the last couple of minutes. Second free throw by Henson, rims out. Marshall's missed them both. Rebound taken by Murray. 16 seconds to go in the third. Jones comes down across the line and waits on the far side of the floor. Back and forth. Right to left hand dribble. Trying to get him a screen out top. They want the pick and roll. He steps up and shoots a three that is no good. Long rebound. Parker has it. Parker will heave it from half court. It is no good. Just off to the left. Marshall County by seven. As we head to the final frame. That action when we return to the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. And powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. Associates, their team of professionals specializes in small business accounting, payroll and bookkeeping, the tax planning and financial strategy. They will ensure your business is covered. Let the accountants crunch the numbers while you focus on success. Call Donahue and Associates, 270-527-1418 for small business solutions that count. And live streaming coverage of Marshall County basketball on the TV mobile app and at marshallcountydaily.com presented by Tristan Smith and his team at your Bet Verizon store, 378 West 5th Street. Ryan Stokes will be in the ballgame to play with three fouls to open up the fourth quarter here for the Marshals. And the same for Xavion Carmen on Murray High's side. Parker, Stokes, Lange, Staples, and Robertson here for the Marshals. Marshals uh, bring it across the line. Stokes hands it off to Robertson. Robertson swings it left side to Staples outside the arc. Now to Stokes. Out to uh, Parker. Parker cuts across the top of the circle. Out to Lange for a three left side. Good! Matthew Lange with a 21-footer off the left side. An FNB bank three for the Marshals to give them a 10-point advantage. 40 to 30. May accelerates down the left side, lays it up high off the glass, and a tough shot there by Drew May. Murray High needed that bucket. May got it for him. Marshall County by eight. 40 to 32. Marshals to their offensive end. We're just underway in the final frame. Logan Parker hands it off to Staples. Staples takes it into the lane. He leans in, and he's fouled here by English. English will pick up his uh, second, and that will put Alex Staples at the free throw line here for the Marshals. Staples, two of two for the line so far tonight, 84% on the season. First one airborne, and no good. Boy, the Marshals. Struggling from the stripe, the thing that has been constant for them all season long is their prowess from the free throw line. It's uh, slipped away from them here in the last couple of minutes. Staples is able to salvage the second one. Murray High will bring it up the floor here. 
May clears the time strike. Marshall County by nine, 41 to 32. May to the top of the key. Swings it left side here to Jones. Jones puts down his dribble. Stokes chasing him defensively. Now to Wilson, right of the circle. Wilson dribbles inside the arc. Now backs up. English at long range on the left side takes it. English lob pass here for Carmen, and it hit the uh, underside of the backboard and then goes out of bounds. A little bit long. And a turnover will give it to the Marshals. Full court man-to-man -man pressure coming from Murray. Lange gets it in play to Stokes. Stokes against a double team. Pass deflected. Carmen has it. And a foul against Marshall County's Ryan Stokes. That is bad news because that's his fourth. Forty-one to thirty-two is the lead for Marshall County. Caden Moeller will have to return here for the Marshals. Stokes will be out. Six forty-five to go. Stokes on the bench with four fouls here for the Marshals. Murray puts it in play from the baseline. Jones left side to May, looking uh, for Carmen down on the uh, left block. Murray uh, Marshall County's got him covered up. English pops out to get it right of the circle. English has picked up his dribble. Now Jones swings around to get it. Dribbles inside the top of the key, now backs up. Left side to May. May fakes, drives to the baseline, comes all the way out to a Wilson. Pass was deflected, but Wilson has it. Wilson makes his move in. He leans in with a shot that is no good but a foul against the Marshals. This one's going to go against Lange. First on Lange. And the second team foul against the Marshals. Colin Wilson headed to the line for Murray. On the season, 74% from the line. A right-handed shooter. First one good. Another one coming for Colin Wilson, 6'3", senior for Murray High. Trying to draw the Tigers to within seven. Still 6'16 to play in this ball game. Second free throw rattles in. 41-34, Marshall County's lead cut to seven. Inbounds pass comes into Staples. Throws it up ahead here to Parker. Parker clears the timeline against English. Has picked up his dribble in front court. Now Staples pops out to get it. Now into the hands of Caden Moeller, and he'll set the Marshall County offense in motion. Moeller comes down to the right side. Hesitates. Comes to the baseline. His pass deflected and intercepted. May runs it the other way. Up ahead to English. English goes to the other side and lays it up and in. Marshall County's lead has been trimmed to five, 41 to 36. Deflected pass in the backcourt, out of bounds off of Murray. The Marshals will keep it, 5.48 to go. Murray High trailed by 10 a couple of minutes ago. They've cut it in half. Marshall County 41, Murray High 36. Full court pressure coming again here from the Tigers. Lange able to bounce it in here to Parker. Throws it up ahead to Staples across the line. Staples comes down, has his shot blocked out of bounds by Jones, but I think they're going to call a blocking foul on Wilson. Also, Wilson picking up his third. So Carmen with three, May with three, and Wilson with three for Murray. Stokes on the Marshall County bench with four. Alex Staples, three of four from the line so far tonight. And two of them coming up here. Let's fly on the first one. Good. Alex had 16 first half points for the Marshals. It's a six point Marshall County advantage. It was seven to begin this quarter. Has been as many as 10. Second free throw is good, but we got a lane violation against Marshall County. Logan Parker apparently jumped uh, too soon into the lane. 42-36 is the lead for Marshall County. Murray High with the ball, 5.44 to go. Jeremiah Jones. We'll bring it through the logo here. Taking his time, started left, now goes right. Trying to back his way in uh, near the free throw line. Has to come back out, leaves it for May here. May fires it down low to Carmen, and Carmen puts it up and in. Murray's within four, 42-38. Staples takes it to the backcourt, throws up to the time stripe here. Fourth Parker, now Lange has it. Lange comes down, he puts the shot up, no good. Rebound Murray, and here come the Tigers. English dribbles down. He does not have numbers. He'll uh, pull up to the top of the key and wait. Jones around to Wilson, left wing. Drops it off down low here for English. And a foul against Marshall County. Marshall County foul will be against Robertson. 
Second on Robertson. 13 foul this quarter against the Marshals. Marshall County's lead at four, 42 to 38. Lob pass in here for English. English bounces it down low for Carmen. He mishandled it, grabs it, puts it up, blocked by Parker. Blocked again. Carmen's got it again, blocked again, but a foul call. And Carmen should have gotten a technical. He a mouth right at one of the officials. Should have been a technical foul. His teammates trying to calm him down. He's still running his mouth. Carmen at the line where he is one of two. That foul on Logan Parker. First free throw here is good. Well, he can draw Murray to within two if he can drop in his second one. That foul on Parker was his second. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, though, to English. Out it comes to Wilson. Murray High will keep it on their offensive end. Drew May takes it along the sideline on the right side. Out now to English. Back over to May. In the corner now to Jones. Cross-court pass to Wilson. Fakes the three. Drives the baseline. Puts it up. No good. And a fight for the rebound. Carmen has it. He goes back up. No good, but a foul against Marshall County. Right now, the Marshals can't grab the rebound. And Parker has picked up his third. So it'll be Xavion Carmen back up at the free throw line for Murray High. Shooting two. On the season, 65%. Two of four there tonight. A three-point Marshall County lead, 42 to 39. 429 to go. First free throw in and out. Another one coming for Carmen. He wears jersey zero for Murray High. Second free throw by Carmen. Got this one. Carmen gets one of two. And a timeout for Murray. Timeout on the floor. 429 to play in the ballgame. Marshall County's 10-point lead trimmed to two. Marshall's with the ball when we come back. Powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. 30 seconds. Forty-two to forty is the lead for the Marshals. They led forty to thirty, but since then, Murray High is on a ten to two run. And Ryan Stokes still on the Marshall County bench with four fouls. Full court pressure again here by Murray. Lange looks to put it in play. Finally able to get it into Moeller. Back to Lange, and the pass in the back court is kicked. Marshall's having some problems with this full court press. 42 to 40 is the lead for Marshall County, but it was 10 just a few minutes ago. Parker able to get it in bounds here to Moeller. Moeller, now to Parker. Parker back to Moeller, still deep in the backcourt. Now they run a double team at him. Now he's going to have to throw it across the line to Robertson. His momentum has him tiptoeing here along the sideline in front court. Now the Marshals will settle in and see if they can get something going offensively. Staples takes it right side. Jones out on him. It's a screen. Jones stays in front of it. Over to Lange. Lange hit the deck, and now it is tied up. Nope. Apparently, uh, May was out of bounds. He had his foot out of bounds when he went down to get it. Well, the Marshals catch a break there. Lange had slipped on a wet spot. Stokes set to return here for the Marshals, and Moeller will be out. So it'll be Staples, Stokes, Parker, Robertson, and Lange here for the Marshals. Staples looks to throw it in. Gets it into Parker out near the timeline. Now Stokes comes to get it. Stokes with May coming out on him. Inside of four minutes to go. That's our Hillary Washer State Farm Insurance of Calvert City game time. Staples right side to Lange. Three out of the corner. Doesn't go. Rebound belongs to Murray. They've got a chance to tie or regain the lead for the first time since the first quarter. Bounced out of the baseline to Carmen. Back to May in the corner. Far side of the floor, back out to English, three and a half minutes to go. Marshall County 42, Murray High 40. Cross-court pass to Wilson, fakes the three. 
Puts down a dribble. Has picked it up now. Back out to Jones. Out near the timeline here on the uh, sideline. Jones wants a screen. Robertson chases him defensively. Jones to May in the corner for a three. Got it. Murray High's first lead since the first quarter. Marshall's back the other way with three minutes to go. Ryan Stokes with the ball out top. 43-42 Murray. Stokes directing traffic. Lange takes it left side. Lange to Parker, top of the key. Right side to Stokes. Stokes now to Staples. Staples has it stripped away, and the loose ball belongs to Murray. May comes across the time stripe here for the Tigers. They lead it for the first time since the first quarter. 43 to 42. Right side, Wilson takes it here. Back out to English. Left side to May. Round it comes to Jones. Lange out on him of the Marshall County man to man. Murray's trying to eat up some clock here. 43-42, the lead for Murray High. Jones curls down into the lane, out into the corner here to Wilson. Back out to May, top right side. 2.10 to go. May gets a screen, but can't go with it at the top of the key. Still on the bounce out top. Carmen comes to set him a screen. May dribbles away from it, and he traveled with the ball. Exactly two minutes to go, and the Marshals will have the ball. But first, a Marshall County timeout brought to you by Dora Shepard, principal broker, Keller Williams Experience Realty, offices in Benton, Paducah, Murray, and Eddyville. Two minutes to go. Marshall County trailing by one with the ball when we come back. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. One minute, one minute. Grab an ID if you want to. Full court pressure coming again here from Murray with the Marshals trailing for the first time since the first quarter, 43 to 42. Lange looks to put it in play and gets it into Stokes. Stokes deep in the backcourt, gets it back to Lange. Lange brings it up here across the time stripe and waits. Leaves it here for Stokes out near the timeline, 150 to go. Marshals trailing by one. Stokes looks to the high post, knocked away from behind by Carmen, but a foul call. Harmon's fourth, and the third team foul against Murray, so no shots here. Marshalls will play it in. From uh, in front of us here in the CFSB Investments Broadcast Center. Staples will have those honors. Just over the backcourt here to Parker, now to Stokes. Down to 142 to play. Marshalls trailing by one. Marshall County with the ball. Stokes has picked up his dribble top of the key to Lange to Staples, and Staples is tied up here. Jump ball, and the arrow will favor Murray High. One thirty-two to go. 43-42 is the lead for Murray, and they're about to get the ball back, but first a Murray High timeout. Powered by DC Electric, this is WCBL Sports. This is a minute, one minute.
Marshall's trailing by one, 43 to 42. It's a 13 to two run for Murray after the Marshalls had grabbed a 10 point lead. 132 to play. Murray High to uh, bring it the length of the floor out of the timeout. Cash Henson has checked in here for the Marshalls. Marshalls will bring some full court man to man pressure. Comes deep in the back court to May. Now to English. Now Henson comes to foul him. Henson's first. Team foul number six against the Marshalls. So it'll be Lincoln English at the free throw line. He's two of two there tonight. 56% on the season. 127 to go. One point Murray High lead. English at the line. First one in the air. Good. Two point Murray High lead. That uh, matches their biggest of the ball game. Marshals have led most of the night. Had a seven point lead to start this uh, fourth quarter. Second free throw from English is right down the middle. And it's a three point Murray High lead. Backcourt pressure here by the Tigers. Parker. In some trouble in the backcourt. Gets it away to Stokes. Stokes clears the time stripe. Away to Parker. Right side to Lange. Back out to Stokes. Down to 115 to go. Stokes angles right. Leaves it here for Lange. Lange spins his way in. Puts up a tough shot. No good. Rebound though to Parker. Out to Staples. Staples to Stokes. Stokes drives it in. Puts it high off the glass. No good. But a foul call. A lot of bodies on the deck there, so we're going to have to sort this one out and see who the foul's on. It's going to go against Drew May. That'll be his fourth. Fourth team foul against Murray, but uh, Stokes was in the act, so two shots coming here for Ryan Stokes. Three of four from the line so far tonight is Stokes. 103 to go and a three-point Murray high lead, 45 to 42. Two shots here for Marshall County's sophomore point guard. First one is no good. Marshall's now 14 of 23 from the free throw line. That is uh, well below their average on the season. Stokes has another one coming. Let's it fly. This one is good. Stokes gets one of two. And Cash Henson will return. 103 to go, two point Murray high lead. Tigers will have to bring it the length of the floor. They'll get it in here to May. May against Robertson to the backcourt. Now the Marshals run a double team at him to English, and English is fouled here. This one will go against Henson. Well, Sawyer Dono playing the uh, averages, uh, Lincoln English uh, percentage wise, is the poorest free throw shooter on the floor for Murray, but he is 4 4 so far tonight. He gets both of them here, and it's a two-possession game. First free throw is rolling in. Oh, my goodness. Maybe they're not. Hit high off the iron and bounced through. Three-point lead for Murray, 46-43. Uh, this uh, could make it a two-possession game. The Marshals do have four timeouts remaining. English. Fires, got it. And a timeout for Murray. Murray High 47, Marshall County 43. Timeout for Murray, powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. One minute, one minute.
In the event of a jump ball, the arrow would favor the Marshals. The Marshals have four timeouts left. Murray High has one. Both teams uh, shooting the uh, double bonus. Marshals have to bring it the length of the floor. Parker gets it into Lange. Lange clears the time stripe here for the Marshals. Dribbles down to the right side. Out to Stokes. Time uh, is critical here for the Marshals. Stokes trying to set something in motion. Lange has it now. He is covered up. Gets it back out. Stokes tried to get it to Stokes. Now here comes Carmen the other way to lay it up. No good. Followed up by May. Good, but a foul before that. against Tommy Robertson and it'll put Carmen back up at the free throw line for Murray where he is three of six so far tonight Carmen taking his time lets the uh, first one go and it's rolling in well the simple difference uh, in this one down the stretch is Murray has made their free throws the Marshals have not Second free throw by Carmen. No good. Marshall County grabs the rebound. Down by five. It's biggest lead of the night for Murray. Drive here by Stokes. Gets to the baseline. Throws it out here to Robertson. 22-footer. No good. Rebound. Staples goes back up and in. And a quick timeout here for the Marshals. And it's brought to you by Dora Shepard, principal broker, Keller Williams Experience Realty, 270-205. 6236. Powered by DC Electric. This is WCBL Sports. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Marshals will try to get a, a quick steal if they can. If they can't, uh, they'll have to foul. 48-45, the lead for Murray. Marshals have led by as many as 10 here in the second half, but uh, give credit to Murray. They've uh, done the things that Marshall County hasn't done down the stretch. They've made free throws, and they've taken care of the ball. Lincoln English will put it in play here. Full court pressure by the Marshals. English running the baseline, trying to find somebody to get it in play to. Finally does to Wilson. Marshall's going to have to foul quickly. And now up ahead it comes to May. May's going to attack the bucket and lay it up. That should have been offensive interference against Murray. Carmen tried to dunk it, but it was still in the cylinder. And now a foul against Marshall County. Foul is against Logan Parker. That should have been offensive interference against Murray. The ball was in the cylinder. Carmen went up to try to dunk it on the uh, putback. Uh, first free throw by Wilson is good. It's a two possession game. Well, the Marshals are going to feel like they let one get away here tonight. And they, and they did. They did. There's no question about it. They let one get away. We're the better team for three and a half quarters or uh, maybe a little bit less than that but for most of the night here's the second free throw from Wilson got them both Marshals have got to hurry they've got some timeouts Stokes hits the deck he was tripped up now a scramble for the loose ball at midcourt between him and Jones and we get a tie up and the foul now against Jones I think so to put Ryan Stokes at the free throw line Stokes will be back up at the free throw line here for the Marshals, where he is four of six tonight. Just 3.8 seconds to go. Time not on Marshall County's side here. Stokes' first free throw is good. Cash Henson will check back in here for the Marshals. If Stokes uh, makes this second free throw. Here it is. Missed this one. Rebound out of bounds. It will belong to Marshall County with 3.1 to go.
So Henson returns. Stokes will be out, but the Marshals need uh, two possessions of the ball and just 3.1 seconds to go. We do have a timeout for a couple of timeouts. Staples takes it in the corner, fires up a three, no good. That'll do it. Murray High comes from 10 points down to win here tonight, 50 to 46. Our postgame coverage will be brought to you by Shoparama, Draffenville, and Calvert City, powered by DC Electric.